Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Mr. Brooks, the live stream is on. I don't care about no live stream. Just like y'all don't care. All this political, this is show. Y'all gonna put y'all gonna be told what to do. Mr. Brooks. Y'all gonna get paid. Mr. Brooks, look at me for a minute. Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks, look at me. Sit here, act like you know me. People like you don't. Y'all don't know nothing about where I come from. Mr. Brooks. Don't push me, dog. Don't push back, then. Mr. Brooks. Don't push back. Push me again. Mr. Brooks, we have to continue with this hearing. I want to talk to the judge or not. No, I'm worried about, man, don't put your hand on me, dude. Nobody put their hands on you. Man, yeah, they better not put their hand on me. Okay, Mr. Brooks, you need to look at me for a minute, okay? Why? To listen to all this political stuff y'all got going on? Mr. Brooks, I'm more concerned man, about... Don't touch me, dog. Stay seated. All right, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back after lunch. I'm not going to do this with him right now. He needs to be here. He's not cooperating. I'm going to give you the warning, Mr. Brooks. I will give you the I will give you the warning that if you continue to interrupt when we when we go back on the record, you will forfeit your right to be in the courtroom today. I can't have these interruptions. I want you here. It's been a long day and a half. Keep your hands off me. We'll come back at at 12:30. Just tell him to get a warrant. Detective Casey was working traffic control for the annual Waukesha Christmas Parade on November 21, 2021, in the downtown area of Waukesha, Waukesha County, Wisconsin. He was tasked with directing traffic at the intersection of White Rock Avenue and East Main Street. The parade participants were staged on White Rock Avenue between Perkins Avenue and East Main Street. The parade featured approximately 100 entries, hundreds of participants, and thousands of spectators. The parade had already begun, and there were a large number of people, vehicles, and floats on the parade route on East Main Street. Detective Casey heard on the Waukesha police radio at 4.35 p.m. that a reserve officer had been informed by a citizen that two people were fighting near White Rock School. Squads were dispatched to the area to conduct additional investigations. A few minutes later, Detective Casey heard a horn honking from a location to the north of his. Detective Casey went out onto White Rock Avenue to investigate the horn noise. He noticed that White Rock Avenue and East Main Street were both packed with parade goers. He noticed people dispersing in a red Ford Escape driving southbound on White Rock Avenue. People were jumping out of the way of the red Ford Escape, he noticed. Detective Casey stepped in front of the Ford Escape at White Rock Avenue and East Main Street pounded on the hood of the vehicle, and yelled repeatedly, Stop! Detective Casey was dressed in a shirt with Waukesha police patches on both shoulders, as well as a black hat with police written in white letters on the front. He was also wearing a neon orange safety vest with the word police written on the front and back. The Ford Escape kept going and turned west on East Main Street. The vehicle was driving slowly at the time, and it brushed Detective Casey back off the front of the car, causing him to be positioned down the driver's side of the vehicle. Detective Casey yelled stop through the driver's side window and pounded on the driver's side door. Daryl E. Brooks, Jr., date of birth February 21, 82, here and after referred to as the defendant, was positively identified as the driver of the Ford Escape by Detective Casey. The defendant drove through the parade procession, past Detective Casey. Detective Casey pursued the vehicle on foot to East Avenue, where he noticed it accelerate. Detective Casey announced over the radio that the Red Ford Escape had entered the parade route and that he needed squads to respond immediately. Detective Casey heard on the police radio a few seconds later that the vehicle had struck people and was continuing westbound on East Main Street. While driving westbound on East Main Street, the defendant struck a number of pedestrians, including parade participants and spectators on the side of the street. 
Later, Detective Casey noticed three adult victims in the road on East Main Street. These people were later identified as Victim A, Victim B, and Victim C. All three of these victims suffered traumatic injuries as a result of being hit by the defendant's vehicle, and all three were later pronounced dead. Victim D, an adult, was taken to Waukesha Memorial Hospital and died as a result of injuries sustained as a result of being hit by the defendant's vehicle. Victim E, an adult, was taken to Aurora Summit and died as a result of injuries sustained as a result of being hit by the defendant's vehicle. In addition to the five people who died, there were 62 injured victims, both children and adults, as of November 23, 2021, with some of them in critical condition. External examinations on all of the deceased victims have been completed by Dr. Linda Biederzicki and Dr. Amy Shile of the Waukesha County Medical Examiner's Office. They determined that multiple blunt force injuries were the cause of death for victims A, B, C, D, and E. Officer Butrin was on the scene assisting with crowd control near East Main Street and Northeast Avenue. Officer Butrin received a radio call at 4.38 p.m. reporting that a car was approaching the parade route from the west. Officer Butrin noticed a red Ford escape traveling westbound on White Rock Avenue near East Main Street. He started walking down East Main Street into the parade in an attempt to get the driver's attention, stop the vehicle, and redirect it away from the parade route. Officer Butrin was approached as the vehicle turned right onto East Main Street. Officer Butrin, dressed in full City of Waukesha Police Department uniform, was standing directly in front of the vehicle as it traveled westbound on East Main Street. He raised his hand and repeatedly yelled, Stop! Stop the vehicle! Officer Butrin estimated the vehicle's speed to be around 25 miles per hour based on his training and experience. Initially, the vehicle remained on the north side of the road, in the open lane between parade participants and spectators. Officer Butrin noticed the driver looking straight ahead, directly at him, with no emotion on his face. Officer Butrin yelled repeatedly for the vehicle to stop as it passed by his location. The car continued west on East Main Street, passing through the intersection of East Main Street and Buckley Street. If the driver was lost and trying to get out of the parade, Office Butrin concluded that this would have been a reasonable location for him to stop and exit the parade route. The car continued west on East Main Street while honking its horn. Officer Butrin noticed that the vehicle began to accelerate as it approached Martin Street. As the vehicle traveled westbound, it got closer to parade spectators and nearly hit a small juvenile who was standing in one of the parking stalls on the north side of the road as its speed increased. When the vehicle arrived at the intersection of East Main Street and Northwest Barstow Street, it appeared that the brakes had been applied. Office Butrin anticipated that the vehicle would come to a halt and attempt to turn right out of the parade route onto N.W. Barstow Street. Officer Butrin heard tires squeal as the vehicle appeared to accelerate rapidly. The vehicle made a sharp left turn into the crowd of parade goers. Officer Butrin realized at this point that this was a deliberate act to strike and injure as many people as possible. Officer Butrin kept running west on East Main Street, following the vehicle in its path. He noticed that the vehicle appeared to be moving side to side on purpose, striking multiple people, and that bodies and objects were flying from the vehicle's vicinity. Officer Butrin began to encounter multiple casualties as he approached the Subway restaurant on East Main Street. Several people were tugging at him, claiming that they needed help with injured parties. Officer Butrin asked those assisting with the casualties as he passed if they were breathing and advised them to stay with them as ambulances were on their way, based on the ongoing threat of the vehicle and the occupant. Officer Butrin pursued the vehicle on foot in order to eliminate the threat the driver posed. Officer Schulten told Detective Casey that he saw the Ford Escape traveling southbound on West Main Street, approaching Wisconsin Avenue, and running over people. Officer Schulten fired three shots at the vehicle, striking it three times. Detective Trussoni interviewed several citizen witnesses who were present during the parade. As I continued to watch the SUV, it continued to drive in a zigzag motion, one witness said. It was as if the SUV was attempting to avoid vehicles rather than people. The vehicle made no attempt to stop, let alone slow down. Detective Trussoni spoke with another witness who described the SUV's zigzag driving pattern, and the witness added that he felt it was a direct intent to hit as many parade participants as possible.
Test, test. Did you hear it? This is Detective Carpenter. Yeah, I'm Darrell. Right, so I'm going to take these handcuffs off as long as I'm... Are you cool with that, Detective Carpenter? Yeah. Spread your feet apart for me, sir. Thank you. When this comes off your left hand, can I tap your head for me, okay? No problem, no problem. All right, thank you, sir. Tap your head. Same thing with this one. Oh, uh, face that way. Face uh, that way. Ah, uh, it's the shoulder. Ow. Oh, nice and easy on you. There you go. All right, all yours. Oh, you can drop your hands now, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm not looking at something serious, man. No, like I said, geez. I'm going to throw in work. Like I said, we have answers for you. So that it won't be as silly as yesterday. It was just an incredibly busy day. I know. I'm just, come on, man. You've been straight up with me the whole time, man. I'm not looking at something serious, man. We're going to talk about it here. I don't, I don't know what your definition of serious is. I mean, like, you've been through the system before. Yeah, I'm just because I'm like, I haven't talked to anybody. <laughs> I haven't been able to make one call, get any time off my I haven't slept. No, sorry about that. Time all that can just be their, their procedure and uh, protocol or whatever. So. Uh, yeah. All right. How's it? You okay? Yeah. 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 No. No! <laughs> It hurts bad. Your shoulder? Bad. Bad, bad. Well, it's going to be sore, man. Yeah. But at least you know nothing's, uh, nothing's broken, right? Yeah. That's good. That's what you say. <laughs> well, they know what they're doing up torn, there. Though. They know what they're doing up there. Did you sleep okay? Uh, you no. sleep all right? <laughs> Better than if you had a bunch of other people around you, though? Better than that, but no. <laughs> My shoulder hurts too bad right now. Sure. Uh, they got you some McDonald's, I see. Yeah, I couldn't really eat it, man. I'm... What'd they get you? Fish sandwich. What'd they get you for breakfast? Uh, some type of little sandwich. I didn't even eat it, though. Okay. All right, what did you eat last night? Nothing. Nothing? I know they got you something, didn't they? Some, some from Quick Trips and chips, and so I didn't even eat it. Okay. Yeah. I know you said you hadn't eaten since like Saturday, so Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I like tried to but just kinda because you're unsure of what was happening. Unsure of the pain. I don't yeah. know what yeah. I'm like, what in the hell? But you got something in your system now so that you're not so just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. That's, that's something. I know you I know the shoulders struggling. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> shoulders worse than the knees though. Absolutely. I know something is wrong. I know. I know something is wrong. I just need to verify some more of the personal information. Can you bear with me and do that, Darrell? Do you mind that? Some of the uh, I just want to know what is going on. I'm going to tell you. But, but I got more to tell you than I did last night, so that might help you out. It took me a while to get... It's, uh... Your girl's crazy, right? Yeah. So we'll get to that. But um, can you spell your first name again for me? Uh, D-A-R-R-E-L-L. So y'all talk to her? Yeah, we'll talk I about that. Yeah, someone did. Darrell, what's your middle that name? That girl is a net case. <laughs> that's my that's my daughter's mama though. I love her. Yeah, I know. I love her to death, man. We all got somebody. <laughs> what's your middle name, girl? Edward. Edward. Yeah. I'm getting Brooks. I'm sorry, man. It, it hurts so bad. I'm getting teary eyed. <laughs> like seriously, I know something is wrong in it. Oh, Brooks, sir. right? Yes, sir. Junior? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So your date of birth throughout? 22182. So you're 39? Yes, sir. Remind me, what's your home at 40... 4014 North 19th Street. Okay. <sighs> and then I had to... Because that light doesn't go off in here, or even dim, so I was trying to, like... Didn't even dim? It didn't even dim, so... Usually my comfortable side to sleep on is my left side where my shoulder's so when I turned over I was just like, Oh my god. They yeah. came in there and was like, Are you okay? I was like, No. Mm. Yeah, you married Darrell? No. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, supposed to be supposed to be. What's your phone number again? Uh four one four. Mm-hmm. Uh shit. Three three nine five six seven seven. 
What's the 610 number you gave me last night? Uh, that is my uh, direct number. What's your direct number? 610 Sorry. 610-2153. That's your direct. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you're not married. What's your girlfriend's name? Uh, Erica Patterson. And she's your baby mama? Yes. How many total kids do you have? Uh, I have three. Three kids? Yes. And you were born, was it Milwaukee? Uh, Detroit. Detroit? Yes. So born in Detroit, live in Milwaukee. Yes, so. sir. Uh, last grade you completed, what was that again? Twelve. And are you working right now? No, not currently. How long have you been out of work? Um, let's see, when did I get locked up from Milwaukee? Uh, just a few months. Anything to do with the pandemic that's been hit? Yeah, so hard. Yeah, that's the reason why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me smooth off. <laughs> okay. I got stuff lined up though, so. Yeah, what, like, so, well, like what? Um, I'm probably going to go back. I was working at a sheet metal place, mm -hmm. so I'm probably going to go back there. Okay. That that was ideal. They do like the stamping or? Um, we we do, uh, I guess they, they like steam and paint the metal pieces oh. and then like ship them out like car, car metal parts, uh, machinery parts, uh, like front car frames, okay. all different types. All I all I really do is just it's a lot of heavy lifting because they have the trucks come in and you know, I load the trucks and then we just hang the metal pieces on the um the little machine thing that comes around. They take them. They they the pieces go through like this little steamer type machine thing and then they paint it and then they come back around and we just take them off the hook and just put them in the box, load them up, put them back on the truck. Um, it was four on, three off, so that was more ideal because that was a great schedule. I, I mostly have my children the back half of the week. Sure. But since since all this, I've been having them every day. So it was like... How old are your kids? Uh, my, my son is grown. My daughter, my oldest daughter is 14, and my youngest daughter is 7. You said your son, oldest well, son's grown. How old is he? He's 18. Okay. They all live with you then in Milwaukee? Well, my son doesn't. Your son doesn't? My son doesn't. But. Okay. All right, that's not, um, Eric is not his mama, is No, she? no. Okay. Which, who's she mama to? Uh, Arsene away. My daughter. Arsene away. Okay. Daughter, yeah. All right. So, okay, so you have three kids. All right. So, look, Darrell, um, I haven't talked to Eric personally. Okay. I know, I know. So, part of what happened last night is, um, she was just being strange, you know, which she, she is because she, she drinks. She's enough. She said she, she drinks. She said she well, drinks. When she does that. So we got a we got a report about an altercation between the two of you. Okay. All right. Um, but they couldn't they couldn't find her for hours. That's part of the reason I I, I didn't know anything for hours. He kept asking, right? You know, this is oh, here. that's what it was. So they couldn't find her for hours, and I had to kind of hang, stick with and hang out with you, and then I'm just guys are looking for and looking for and finally they find her and they talk to her and it seems to me based on their conversation where they're yeah she could be a little out there we all know how how many we all know how women can be right have you ever been married no <laughs> three baby mamas or two three three are they all whack or just no one? My, my son's mama is like she's from out this way she's from New Berlin grew up yeah. in New Berlin out here sweetheart okay works takes care of home, sweetheart. And her second son is autistic, so she's really, really, really hands-on mom. No issues with her at all. Erica is the only one that I have problems with. Even my youngest daughter, daughter's mom works, comes home. We don't fight. We don't argue. We co-parent. I have my daughter most of the time, and she's okay with it. Erica, she's a sweetheart. Until she gets that alcohol. That alcohol's the problem. Then you all type of bitch ass niggas and I, I have somebody touch you and uh, I, I'm going to keep my daughter away from you yeah. and I'm, I'm going to make sure you never see her again and you talk to bitches every time your phone ring. I'll hit you upside your head with this pen. I'll just, she's, 
even my mom doesn't even like her around when yeah. she's drinking. So that okay, and so that's yeah, that's kind of where I'm going with it. I've had um, I've never had, I've never been with anyone that is as bad as what you're saying right there, but. I think he can attest to it. We've all, we've all. <laughs> Being probably looked like he did do it with some chicks, man. Yeah, we know, awesome. we know, we know some of the crazy things they'll say sometimes. But you know, again, and this is to give you more clarity. And like I told you last night, um, every now and then, you can see it's just the two of us. There's no one else here. So it's right. just I know right. there were some other people last night that had you uncomfortable. That's gone. That's all gone. I explained you know, why that was going on. Um, you know us, we're not we're not gonna do nothing to you, right? You know, you can be trustworthy, you can be comfortable with us. We're in this room, it's just the two of us, just the three of us. Um, so we can I feel like talk in a more more open way, in a more comfortable way where there's not, you know there's not anything around that you feel is, is strange, right? I mean, you, you, you got to spend a lot of time with us. Oh. But the reality is right now, Darrell I don't know Erica. I know you've described her. I didn't speak to her. I didn't know her. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and you know, I know some of uh, you know the domestic claims they'll make. So again, I'd like to sit down and try to chat with you and learn a little bit more about you and Erica and what makes her tick, both when she's on and when, more particular, she's off, and get an idea of what's going on. Um, and what I consider this conversation, Darrell, is more information sharing. I'm not going to sit here and be a, a total jerk and say, talk to me and sit here and say nothing. Um, I got some ideas on kind of what she said, but that's all we got. And I don't know how accurate what she said might really be. Um, and that's why I want to give you an opportunity, if she's off the fucking wall, um, and I need to know it, to give you a chance to tell me, like I said, just the two of us. She now. definitely, you know what I'm saying. She needs to be on some type of medication, man. Sure, I hear. And you. she knows this from the past. Like I've been dealing with her for 16 years, so this isn't just some chick I just man, met. Man, a lot. Man, I've been knowing her for 16 years. Gotcha. Going through this with her. Okay. So and this isn't the first time. She she she's even told my mom to. I'm gonna get this. Even in the past, I'm going to get him locked up. Okay. And, then, and then she'll tell my mom, oh, he didn't really do that. I was just mad and I was drunk. And my mom was like, you know he got that baby at home. Why would you do that? Right. And that's the kind of information that... And then, my, mom, my mom wanted to go upside her head because she was like, dude. So and that's what we're that's what we're looking to uncover if we can, Darrell. Now, like I told you last night at the hospital, um, because we're not like on your living room couch. You heard that pop? A little bit. Because we're not on the living room couch. Just relax, you'll be alright. You're not being up. No, it just it just hurts. Like the like right up in there. I don't know if it's a yeah, muscle. I have had shoulder injuries too and they're they're tough. They're just they're one that they're one that's aggravating. So just, it just keeps doing this. Yep. I hear you. That's right. So I gotta read you the sheet again. Can I do that? Yes, sir. Okay. So like I say, um we're still the same three guys that were chatting all night long yesterday. Just because we're in this building, you know, um, and we're not on your couch, that I gotta read it, okay? Um, and I know you've had you've heard it before, so you kind of understand that. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions before I start for me? Only thing I want to know is, what in the heck am I being charged with anything? Well, she's making some, like I said, alleged allegations against you, kind of, you know, for being physical. So that's what. You know, if that's BS, that's what I'm looking to hear from you. Okay. Total BS. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of, we couldn't track her down, so that's that's kind of where we're at. It's this typical back and forth stuff that guys like you go through with their baby mama all the time. And they're all, you know, there's a lot of guys out there in your spot, you know. <laughs> and a lot of times, you know, maybe it's, it's not always fair to them, but that's kind of what I'm I wish they had a law to where people could, if you do that shit, you should get in trouble. Sure. Yeah. Like, why? You shouldn't be able to just be like, oh, I'm pissed off, so I'm going to yeah. call and do this. Yep. I agree. Like, that's, why would you put me in that situation and then you know we're going to end up being together anyway? And that's why would you do that? Trying to judge that credibility. Yep, yeah, and that's, that's total BS. So that's, what I, I'm, that's why we're sitting in here with you to try to, to siphon through, sift through the BS, if that's what we got. And just go for it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, All right. Nice. 
girl, man. I said this last night too, didn't yeah. She get drunk and remember I kept saying that she fucking acts a fool and I'm the one that pays for it. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I just had to pay a thousand dollars to get out of jail just because she was mad. Oh, you were talking to another bitch. Yep, I remember what? everything you said. Everything you said. Don't nobody take cheap shit. But I'm not sure winning. I'm sure there's a lot more to it that I don't know, so that's that's the goal here, okay? This fucking girl, okay? So, so she... you ready? Should I yeah. start reading? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. No, it's all right. It's, it's, I'm not. I just don't. Oh, so get rushed. Pull this fucking hair out. All right, um, Darrell, do you understand that you do have the right to remain silent? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, understanding that, Darrell, if you decide to give up that right, anything said, you say, may be used against you in court. Excuse me, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Uh, Darrell, do you have the, do you understand you have the right to consult with an attorney and have an attorney present during any questioning? Yes, sir. Uh, do you understand, Darrell, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the court? Yes, sir. And I know last night you were a little uneasy, but being I've been able to give you more understanding of the above rights, are you willing to speak with me at this time? Yes, sir. Can you do me a favor? Now you see how I wrote your answer? Yes, sir. And those are my initials. And then another slash. Can you put your initials next to mine at those five questions and then just sign right down here? Oh, this hurts so bad. Uh. Thank you, Darrell. God. <laughs> okay. So just as we're chatting, will you, you know, we'll just write down so we get your story straight. You know, we'll probably be writing down a few notes from what you say, okay? Just so you know, I got my pad on the table here. Um, I don't know if I ever gave it. That's a business card of mine, too. I don't think I ever gave you one last night. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, so tell me, Darrell. About Erica, right? You got one child with her? Yeah. How old? Uh, 14. What's her name? Arsinaway. Arsinaway. Yeah. Okay. Is she a good kid? Um, She's acting out now. Okay. Where did you meet Erica? Uh, I met Erica in Nevada. Like uh, Vegas or somewhere else? Uh, Reno. How did you happen to meet her out there? Like um, what were the, just, you know, just the circumstances? Just, 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 just being out and about. Okay. Just being on the boat. How many years, so your or Sinaway is 14, how many years ago did you, you and Erica get together? Did you meet? Um, about almost 16, it been about 16 years. Okay. Uh, were you working out there at the time in Nevada? Yep. Was she too? Um, she may have still been in high school, maybe. Okay. At the end. Okay. And you guys never got married? No. How old is she? 31. 31? Okay. So is she originally from there? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And you said you were originally from Detroit and ended up out there working in you know, it. Was, look, no, oh, uh, so I was born in Detroit. I grew up here, but oh, I ended up okay. yeah, I grew up I ended up uh staying on the West Coast for a few years and okay. that's that's how we did. Okay. So did you guys stay in the bed, I guess walk me through kinda of, if you can, I guess you guys journey a little bit from Nevada to how um she said something about Georgia. Maybe you were in Georgia for a while. I don't know if that's right. And then now you guys ended up here. How? Yeah. And what's um, your guys' timeline? Uh, the Georgia thing was because um, we were off and on for a while. And mm -hmm. the George, she she ended up initially because her mom had custody of her kids. She lost. She has five kids. Okay. She lost custody of all her kids because of drinking and domestics with her other boyfriends and her other two baby daddies. Mm -hmm. So this is a frequent, it, it ain't just with me. Sure. This is a thing with her. Yep. She fights and 
with everybody she dates because of her drinking. Uh, her family took the kids. Her mama, her mama was the first one, and then one of her cousins had got the other girl or something. I can't remember exactly how it went, but I know her mom had three of the kids. Her mom had my daughter and then um, two of the other ones, two of her other ones. Mm -hmm. And her mom just basically put her foot down like, look, if you're going to continue to drink and do what you're doing, I'm not going to let you, you know. So her mama just basically, I'm taking the kids. You, you, you can't do what you're supposed to do. I'm going to take the kids. And her mom moved to Georgia first. Okay. She stayed in Reno. Then maybe after about maybe a year and a half, maybe two years or something like that, her mom convinced her to come and try to build a relationship with your kids now. It's, it's been a long time. You ain't seen them in a couple years. That's why she moved to Georgia. Okay. Her mom passed away, though, 20, 20, 20 July or something like that. Her mom passed away, so, but her mom's, wish on her deathbed that she told all her family is don't let her get those kids. They gave the kids to her anyway. Okay. They was staying from hotel. They didn't even have nowhere to stay. They were staying from hotel to hotel to hotel. Were you in Reno or Georgia at this time? I was in Milwaukee at this time. Okay. Well, how many years ago are we talking about? This, 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 this is recent. Her mom passed 2020. Okay. When did you get back to Milwaukee? I got back to Milwaukee years ago, 20, okay. 2017, 18, something like that. I, I had been back in Milwaukee. And at that time, like I said, we have been off and on these. She's down here out for a while. Then. Right. I didn't know we had, like I said, we go off and on. When, when I get to the point where I'm like, look, dude, I love you to death. I'm always going to love you to death. Even my child's mama, I, I, I care about you. But while this is going on, I'm not going to that's the reason why we wasn't having any contact. Okay. Okay. So, so, I mean, obviously you stay in somewhat contact. Yeah, that's my child's mother. I'm always yeah. going to try to, you know, make sure she's okay. At least that, even if we're not actually dating. Yeah. I'm at least going to be like, yeah, you know, do you need anything? Are you all right? My mom, too. My, my family, my mom didn't even meet her until she came to Wisconsin. All these years of my mom just met her in June. And do you stay at your... Is it, is it your mom? You talked about your mom. Is it her address you stay at now? It's, she owns the house. She owns she the house. Owns the house. She doesn't stay there anymore, but she owns the house. Okay. She she has her own house. She yeah, I at. think we put your mom as emergency. Yeah. Okay. What did you say her name was? Uh, Dawn. Dawn. What was the last name? Woods. Dawn Woods. Okay. Um, all right. So then when is our... Is our Sinaway? Am I pronouncing that right? Yes, sir. Is she up here or is she still in Georgia? She's still in Georgia. Okay, when did Erica come back up here? Come back up to the Milwaukee um, area? She, she never was here in the first place. She didn't come here until June. This year? This year. Okay. It was yeah, the first time here. ever being in Wisconsin, being around my family, my mom and everybody up here because her family won't, they won't do anything for her. You're going to keep drinking. They basically told her, we're washing our hands of you. You don't want to do right. We got to take on the responsibility of your kids. All the kids are still in Georgia. None of them are up here. So what does that tell you? All of Erica's other kids. Yes. All of them are. Dead. Yeah. And they, they just basically told her. They tried to get her to go to rehab. She didn't want to go. So they just was like, fine. You know, if you want to stay hotel to hotel drinking and doing what you're doing, we're done. Okay. We'll make sure the kids are good, but we're done. And that's when my mom stepped in and was like, look, you stay in hotel to hotel to hotel to hotel. Maybe it'd be best you come up here and we can get you set up and get you a job and start helping you get on your feet. My mama told, she told the both of us, not just Erica. She said, man, whatever y'all need, I'll help. Okay. Boom. She came up here. I showed her how to make a resume. Get a job. She got a job at a hotel. Everything is going good. She starts drinking. Did she stay with you at your mom's place for a while? She was staying with me at my mom's place oh, for a while, well, yes. Okay. On North 19th there? Yes, sir. So it was just you and her. It wasn't your mom staying there. She just owns it? Yes, she owns, owns the there. property, yes. Okay. Um, so she comes up in June. Um, everything was good. She was... Everything was good. 
and two. So what's this thing you said you just got out of jail like last week? Did I have that right from her? Yes, no, it wasn't from her. It was a, a paternity case here in Waukesha okay. for my son. So wait, it wasn't a criminal case. Um, I had a, a, what did they call it? So it was Some type of hold. It was because unrelated to her? It, it was unrelated to her. I think it was because I missed court. Okay. But they were saying it was because I have to pay the rears now that my son, the, the regular child support order isn't on my name anymore because mm -hmm. my son's grown and out of school. And his mom never had any state assistance like food stamps or anything like that. So the order, they ended it, but they said I have to pay the rears. All right. And I had a court date, I think, in the summer sometime that I missed. And that's why they put the hold out. Okay. So when I came here, all I did was they picked me up. I came uh, to Waukesha. I went to court maybe a few hours after I got through booking. And they was just like, okay, well. It was a Waukesha warrant? It was a Waukesha paternity. Where does, so it sounds like this goes back to your, what's your 2003. Son? It goes back to 2003. What's his name? Xavier. Where does he live? He lives in Menominee Falls. Menominee Falls. Yep. Okay. So it was a paternity warrant. Reference him, so he's not in Waukesha, he's in Waukesha County. Yeah, well, when he was born, like I said, his mom is from New Berlin. Okay. So I guess that's Waukesha County. Yeah. All right. So the order is out of that county. So that got all taken care of, though, once he got released from jail, whatever needed to I, I have another court date coming up. Okay. okay. It's just okay. to um, make sure that I can, you know, verify some things for them. Am I going to be working? Am I, you know, because yep. the rears, they aren't, aren't like really significant like that. It's not like I owe thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars or something crazy like that. They mm -hmm. just like you just got back pay. <laughs> That's basically what they said. You just got back pay. You know, he's, okay. he's eighteen now. He's grown. He has his own job, his own car. Like, yeah, just pay. Just pay. Just pay. Okay, so I didn't even know I had the court date. That's why I was like, when they said I had a warrant in Waukesha, I said for what? They said, oh, it's just paternity. I'm like. My son's grown. Like, what the hell? Right. Mm -hmm. So you're still in North North 19th, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> is Erica out? Um, she's not around me. <laughs> How long has she been out of there? Um, she hasn't been around there since October. Okay. Where did she? <clears throat> so I didn't talk to her. Where did she go? I have no idea. Okay. She 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 says she knows people. She has friends that she. Hangs out with where I don't. Yeah, they are. I don't know. I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you. My mom just told her. She said, "Y'all, if y'all gonna keep arguing and doing all this, you gotta go." You keep in contact with her though, like I haven't been. Aaron. I I haven't been. Recently, I haven't been because my mom was basically so saying your mom threw her out. She didn't really throw her out. She was just saying. If you're going to be drinking, if you're going to be, if y'all, you know, because my niece and nephew are here. Okay. They see this stuff. My nephew, and then my nephew calls my mom, and he's like, dude, she out here tripping. Okay. Uncle keep telling her to leave, because it'd be times where I know she come drunk, and I tell her, just leave. And I'm not going nowhere, you bitch ass motherfucker. Blah, blah, blah. And my nephew would call. My mom and I, because I kept telling her, I said, don't call the police on her. She just drunk. Okay. It's, it's not, <laughs> she's not, trust me. All right. When she, when she comes to it, she's going to be crying. And, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't was understand. she drunk yesterday? She's drunk. Anytime she can get oh. a bottle, she's drunk. Oh. Okay. I understand. Was she drunk yesterday? I have no idea. Did you see her drinking yesterday? No. No. Okay. So you don't know if she was drunk yesterday? Okay. But didn't see her drinking? No. But I, I guarantee you, she probably was, most likely. Okay. So She only acts crazy like that when she's drunk. Okay. You know what? She wasn't, didn't have slurred speech or anything. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, she was, I saw okay. her doing this. If I didn't see it, I'm not going to lie, lie yeah. on her. So, but I know how she. I, I've been dealing with her for all these years. Yeah. I know. What brought you to Waukesha yesterday? How did you get out here? I was meeting up with a friend to watch the Packer game. Okay. That's the only reason why I was, was out here. Where did you go to watch the game? 
to a friend named uh, Stephanie. Her house, a bar, or a house. Yeah, I don't mean to make you uncomfortable or anything, but what's the address there? What's she I have on no street? idea about Waukesha. I don't know the street. What was I it don't... near? I know you had to see something near it. Uh, so what was it near? Like a gas station. Have you been to the house before? No. Never before? No. What's Stephanie's last name? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. When did you guys set this up? Um, uh, maybe a couple of days ago. Okay. Like I said, I, I have a few friends. I have a few friends in Milwaukee that have people out here, so. Okay. It's not, I don't, like I said last night, I don't know the streets in Waukesha. It's not where I usually hang out at, so I, I couldn't say, well, this street, this street, and this, you know, I couldn't. All right. Stephanie, like a friend of yours or like a friend of a friend? A, a friend of a friend, mutual oh. friend. And what's your last like, name was? I have no idea. How long have you known her? That was my first time meeting her. So, how did you get the number to know the house to go to? A friend. A friend. <laughs> so, how did you get to her house? My friend. I went with my friend. Okay, who's that? Uh, my friend. I don't really want to say his name. I don't know if that's going to incriminate him in anything. So. Okay, so let's go with this. How did you come? I know you saw Erica yesterday in Waukesha because we talked to her. Now, I don't know everything that went on, and I'm not saying I believe everything she told the other officers. How did you come to meet with her in Waukesha, one? And two, you say you don't know Waukesha, but where did you meet her? A gas station, a park? I know you met her. Where did you meet her? What what happened yesterday? Yeah, so, Because if this is BS, like you say, and I know you met her, what happened? I met so her. What happened when you met her? Where did you meet her? Let's start with that. By a gas station. Okay. I don't know <laughs> what I was supposed to be getting some money from her. How did, okay. For what? Um, it was the rest of my money that she had of mine that she was holding for me. Okay, how much? Um, it was supposed to be three hundred and fifty dollars okay and what did she why did she have it why why was she holding well, she it? she had been holding it for me for a few weeks now but like i said i hadn't seen her she had seen right but what was she holding why did she have it why was she holding it for you she was just holding it for me because i told her to hold it for me but this was it didn't have anything to do with it. this was weeks ago she had been holding the money and because i had no contact with her i couldn't tell her and my mom wasn't going to let her come to the house to bring it. Mm -hmm. And I told her, look, man, if I'm going to be out there, I'll meet up with you and, and get the money. But I'm not hanging out with you. I'm not having sex with you. And she was just like, oh, you want to kick? I'm like, I'm not going to do none of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to be around you. I get that. I understand that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not supposed to be around you. I love you to death, man. You're my baby mama. I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't supposed to be like a hangout thing. I told her, I'm like, I'm out here. And she's like, oh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? And I'm like, look, I'll meet up with you to get the money and, you know, give you a hug or whatever. But she was like, well, gee, I need something. I'm like, no, we can't do it all, all that. I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm not going to hang out with you or none of that. All right. So you told her you weren't, you weren't going to do any of that stuff. No. How did you set the meeting up? Did you? You talked to her on the phone, Facebook Messenger, text message. I talked to her. She, I don't think she said anything about that. So just, I mean, if she's BS, how did you? How did yeah, because I didn't. With her? I didn't. She. This is what she does. If well, she hold can, on one second. Hold on one thing at a time. How did you set the meeting with her? How do I verify? That's what. That's what I'm saying. She. If she can't get in touch with me. That's what she'll do. She'll go to social medias and do all this and try to okay. talk to people and all this and that. I got in contact with her through a mutual friend that we both know. And I was like, okay, tell her I'm out in Waukesha or whatever and I'll meet up with her to get the money. And then she put us on the call. And she was just like, where you at? Wait, call? Yeah. And she was just like, where you at? I'm like, look, I don't know where I'm at. 
do you still got that money? She's like, yeah, I want to give you the money and I want to, I want to do this and do that. I'm like, no, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to hang out with you. I'm going to meet up with you, get the money, give you a hug and kiss. We'll talk later. Was it still daylight? It was still daylight. It was still okay. daylight. So was, after the thing. this was, I think the game was still on. It was on. Awesome. The game was still on. Left stuff and used to go. On. Yep. Okay. The game was still on. So I was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? I want to see you. I ain't seen you in like a month. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to lie and say, man, that's my baby mama. I love this woman. But I can't hang out with you. I can't so, do anything with you, you know, that type of thing, deal, and whatever the case may be, but, yeah, that. And this is on your cell phone? You, the three-way call, obviously, it's your cell phone because you're not no, on the phone, right? my friend's phone. Friend's phone. Yeah. But yesterday, so do you have your phone? No. That's what I'm saying. No. So who is the friend whose phone you were using to talk to at her on a three-way call? I don't want to say his name because I don't want to. Okay, I guess. So you saw her though, right? You met up with her. Okay. So, how did the conversation with her end? With me walking off and her being pissed off that I didn't want to hang out with her. I said, "Look, I'm not supposed to be around you. I'm gone." Okay. When she Who's said, "Oh," you used to get out she here? said, "I didn't. I didn't have a car." So whose car did you use to get to Waukesha? My friend, my friend is the one that said he was going to go hang out and watch the Packer game. I said, I'm going to go with. Okay. Whose car did you use to get out to Waukesha? I didn't use anybody's car. Where does your friend live? My friend lives in Milwaukee. So you, you didn't walk to Waukesha. Whose car no, did you guys use? My to friend. I just said my what friend. What type of car did you I, I'm just trying to figure out how you got here. Yeah, I know, but it seemed like you trying to, like, spin me up or something. Like, I'm just asking how you got here. Whose car did you drive out here? I didn't drive at all. <laughs> Whose car did you come out here in? My friend. Okay, right. What kind of car is it? So here's the thing, Darrell. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, she's coming at us. I told her she's talking about some domestic-related issues, okay? Um, you know, and... I don't know if she's IBS. I don't know if she's not. I'm telling you. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I don't want you to get... Yeah, because... Hold on, let me finish. You know, I don't entirely know all that, okay? I'm just right now trying to figure out how you get out here. So, I got to step out with my partner for a minute. Just relax. I don't want you to get you all nervous, okay? But... You know, I'm not trying to be confrontational, but I, I don't think when you meet her out in Waukesha and you're not from Waukesha, I think a reasonable question is to ask, how did you get out here? Yeah. Whether you drove, someone else drove, and if so, when you got out here, what type of car you were in? So just um, every hour or so, my boss, he knows we're out here. I just got to call him say, yeah, we're talking. I'll call you back later. Just got to step out, throw in a line with him, and we'll come back. Just chill out here, enjoy your soda. We'll be right back. All right? Sound good? Okay. So we... Done talking or no? We'll no, no, no. Back we'll back just chill out. We'll be back. We just gotta make that call. So I just gotta make that call. That check-in call. All right. In the middle of the conversation. Well, do you want to tell me about the car? Let me go another couple minutes. Yeah, but I'm. I'm I mean, just, I gotta call him. I can come back, but I just. All up. Listen, I'm. I'm willing to listen, Carpenter. You've been straight up with me. You've been straight up with me, right? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, I just want to know. What I'm looking at, and if I can just notify my girls, that's it. I don't have a problem with talking to you guys at all. I just want to know what am I looking at. I that's it. You at the start, she called about some domestic abuse-related stuff. Now, I didn't talk to her myself. I told you that at the start. You said she was crazy. We talked about Y'all know that. that. Y'all talked yeah. to the woman. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, other I apologize. You talk. Slow to the officers that we listen to the interview. Slow down the Did she look beat up? Did she be, like, dude, Durell, like, listen, come on now, man. Slow down, dude. All right? We can't explain it to you if you keep talking over us. You know what I'm saying? All right? I didn't talk to her. I didn't see her. Okay? Now, she said you met out here, which you've confirmed. All right? You're from Milwaukee. All right? And I'm just asking you. 
you have to understand, I don't know everything. You know, so that's part of the reason I'm asking you questions, okay? I didn't talk to her. I don't know how crazy she is or isn't. You know, I want to believe you when you say she is. All right? Just but part she, of it is just, just when she drinks. Yes, yeah, so it's asking you, I'm okay, just going, you know, you just know what's going, going on. the toilet, you know what I mean? That's, with her. She you know, does as this far all as the time. How you got out here, too? How did you get out here? You know, what car did you come out What car did you come out here? Our job is detail oriented. You know, a lot of people think your job is to like get people in trouble. Our job is no, I understand that. It's just it's just hard to be like when you just when you go through this and you don't even know. Like I haven't I haven't even been able to talk to my girls and be like, yo, I'm I'm okay. Have you you know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. this, you've been you through this be in a lot. situation like this, and yeah, but I've had I've been, been able I've been able to call somebody too. You've been, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. At least just say, hey, did y'all go to school? I'm okay. Did y'all go to school? Are, are y'all good? Okay, I'll talk to y'all. They know you're okay, Darrell. Because we knew you were going to be here for a while, so I know an officer talked to your mom and she knows you're okay. But how do I know that? Like, well, I'm not going to make that up. I know, I know. I know you, I know you haven't, but I'm not going to make that up. I, I know she knows you're okay. I'll stay in the East. But... It don't you matter know, what I do, man. Even when I, even when I, I don't, don't want to do shit. Hold on, Darrell. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to overly frustrate you either. So I mean, I know you've probably you've been arrested before, right? Yes. You've been through this. You've been through this shit before, right? Yes. Have you ever prayed on it? Yeah, I, I pray. I pray. Yeah, did. What's your religion, if you don't mind me asking? Christian. 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 Very strong. Born and raised Christian. Born and raised Christian. No, um, Baptist. That's Strong it. family, both. I got reverence. My my granddad, rest in peace. And my grandma, my daddy's side with reverence. My mom, strong church family. I grew up in church, mm -hmm. being baptized. You I, go regularly every Sunday, or I, I try to. We since the COVID, our church isn't doing um congregational things. They kind of just doing it like online. You can watch the the service on Zoom, whatever the sermon is going to be for a Sunday. They broadcast it live on Facebook. So me and my mom, since we can't actually go to the church, which has been our church home yeah. ever since my mom was little. So I have the same church home. I was baptized in that church, buried my sister in that church. That's the only church I really know. Take communion and stuff? Everything. Yeah. Everything. I'm a strong, strong believer. Strong. If you talk to my mom, she t you, you notice that off top when you talk to her. Any of the tattoos religious you got? I don't really know. Well, um, I got this Virgin Mary. Yeah. Um, this cross with you know sure. my grandma when she died. Um, I didn't. I didn't get the uh, the scriptures that I wanted yet. Right. I'm definitely gonna get some scriptures. A few times from Proverbs. Proverbs is one of my favorite books. Yeah, I'm Christian. It's a powerful thing. Talking to God. It is. It's just yeah. you know my thing is this man like. You know, like I said, I probably made a mistake by just having contact with her, but I'm I'm not. Why do you say that? Well, because because of how she acts. She's like it's almost like she forces me to be with her. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I'm forced. It's 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 either you're not. I'm gonna take you know take you out of your kid's life. You're not. I'm gonna keep your kid away from you. If you're talking to females, I'm gonna. You know, it's almost like. She makes me play by her rules, and if I don't, she has me by the balls because she know I'm already going through stuff as it is. And I'm like, why would you do? <laughs> my intentions is like, dude, you've been around my family. We got, we got a child. You've been around my other. Like, you know, we not the type of people. Like, I love the shit out of you. Why do you do this to me? And when you know I don't do shit, I don't do shit. So why would you put me in a position to go through something like this when you know I don't do anything? Because I don't want to hang out with you? Has anyone ever arrested you for putting your hands on her? Not walkie shot necessarily, but walkie anyone? No. Never? Never. You don't have when, any, I, when I got her... any open cases that you can't contact her? Yes. You would have said that? Yes. What's that about? That's because uh, we had a domestic that she claimed I smacked her, punched her, did some stuff like this. 
When was that? This was recently. I got I got the cases open. So you did I'm, get arrested. I'm going through the case right you now. Got out. I got out, and you know why? Okay. She's calling and telling them, "Oh, I was just drunk. I was just mad. I was just drunk. I was just mad." And they said, "Oh, we're we're gonna Milwaukee picks it up anyway." So it happened in Milwaukee. So she was recanting to Milwaukee. Yes. Okay. And she told them, "I was drunk. That's why I said it." She told she called my mama and told my mama the same thing. My mama was pissed because she had to pay all this money to get me out of jail for something that I didn't even do. That she told my mom I didn't do. That's what I'm saying. You will put me in this position just to be like, oh, well, I'm sorry. I was drunk. I was mad. You was talking. Why would you do that to me? Sure. Why? And that's the, that was the whole reason why, on top of her drinking, and my niece, because my, my niece is still kind of, you know, my niece, if any type of yelling and stuff like that, because her... My sister, rest in peace, she passed away. And my ni my niece's father used to fight. So when my niece, if you even rah, 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 my niece gets kind of like, what the hell is going on? She gets real. My nephew was kind of like, oh, shit, you know, because he's 22. So he's like, ma, she out here, what should I do? Just tell your uncle to tell her to fucking leave, you know, or we are going to call the cops. But then I'm the type of person, I don't want to call the cops on my baby. You've been through a lot with her. 16 years. years. So <laughs> I can see all that's frustrating. Let me ask you this. I don't want it to be overly personal, but it's a thing I probably don't understand. You've had to battle with this with Erica for 16 years. Call it the elephant in the room. I'm white. I don't know what it's like. To, to be a black man. I'm sure there's inherent struggles with that. Would that, would that be accurate? Yes. Or a lot of them from the legal sense. Do you ever feel... Do you ever feel it's hard for you to succeed? Or do you feel... Are you happy? Do you feel like if you... Do you feel like America gives you good opportunity? You know, I don't know what it's like to be in your shoes. Do you feel like it gives you a good opportunity here, although maybe not as good as others? Do you feel you're better off here than you would be somewhere else? Or do you, do you have resentment like, yeah, my fucking country's against me. It just feels like, you know, how do you uh, I feel in, in, in addition to everything you're putting up with her? I, I definitely, um, I mean, I don't feel uh, that, you know, I just my country's just, you know, I don't feel... I, I really feel like, yeah, that there are definitely, um, it's harder to get the benefit of the doubt being black. It's okay. harder to, you know, not, and I'm not saying you guys, but majority of the time, you're kind of looked at as a troublemaker or, you know, even if you have a record that made, like I said before, all this stuff, I have been in trouble in a decade. A decade. That was 2011, and that was for weed. So it wasn't like I was just running around and just doing all this stuff. Like I come from a good family. I didn't have a father growing up, but I come from a my mom. She bust her ass, man. Mm -hmm. Two, three jobs sometimes. So I, I've been through being on welfare, having to stay from house to house, and being in homeless shelters. I've been through that growing up. I remember standing in the government cheese lines and having to get all that stuff because we didn't have. Sure. I, I remember all that. So I, I definitely do feel like I don't get the benefit of the doubt sometimes being a black man. Um, I feel like it's easier because of my record to just assume I do feel like that. Um, sometimes I feel like I do have a little bit against me. Sure. But... It's, it's no place I would rather be than here in America. Okay. It's no place I would rather, you know. I, I do feel, yeah, I, you, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, you, you're working and stuff like that, you can succeed. You can. Sure. Yeah, you can. Like, I come from that. Like I said, I try to be hands-on with my kids. That's the most important thing to me in this world is my children and them not having to go through what we went through. And I don't want... Because I'm not going to lie, I love this girl, man. 
Erica? I love her, man, to yeah. death, man. I love her to death, but she knows. She knows. My, she knows. I would, like, why would you do this to me? She knows this. Mm-hmm. She know I would never hurt her or anything like that. But she goes so off the fucking handle. And it's like, why, dude? You take, you get my freedom taken from me. Just for trying to love you? Right. Just for, just for wanting you to do better. Yeah. For me saying, I, I, when Georgia was going on, like I said, they were staying from hotel to hotel to hotel to hotel. Sometimes roach infested. It, it, I don't know if any of you guys been to Atlanta. It's not the cleanest place. It's not, okay? It's not. Y'all going through all this stuff. And I say, look, I got your back. You know, whatever you need, man. Whatever I got your back, dude. My mom, hey, you might need to leave from down there. You, you don't got no support. You, did, you know, we can help you get set up up here. We got your back. You got a whole side of your family that you never even met. My daughter, she haven't even met my mom and my side of my family because of, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, dude, you got people that support. Like, come up here and listen. You know what I mean? So that was the plan. It wasn't never like. Right. You and know? It all went. Yep. It all. She it started. It hasn't changed. It goes sideways. She started drinking. You got to deal with that. And then she makes this complaint when she gets you back. Yeah. And it's and like, why do you do this to me? And, and I, I promise you. I promise you. That my right hand to God Almighty on the throne with Jesus next to his side. The woman is going to sit up there and say, I was drunk, I was mad, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, now I got to go through everything just for you to do that. Why did you do this to me? She so thinks she's going to come back to us and say that here. I know she is. Mm-hmm. She did the same thing with that. And then my mom was calling her, calling her, calling her, calling her. And then she says, oh, well, I was drunk and I was mad and he was talking to females on his phone. So you send me to jail? Doesn't seem fair. It's not fair. What? From your perspective, I thought it was. My mom was like, "Well, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, I don't live over there. I can't go over there. My mom works third shift. My mom is sixty some years old. She can't go all the way from Oak Creek over there on Nineteenth to make sure my daughter is going to school and do all this and do all that. And my nephew, like I said, he's twenty two. He half the time he with his friends, and half the time he doing what he do, and half the time he don't even come home till late. So that just leaves her in the house. And that's why I'm like, why would you do this to me when you know? You know all this is going on. You're fighting. You're fighting hard, and you're, you're trying to get through her. You know, I just want my life about, back, man. I, yeah. Listen, I love yeah. this woman. I love this woman. I would not hurt this woman. I want to see her do better, but I don't want her around me if she's drinking yeah. because I'm going to get in trouble. She's never going to be like, Oh, I'm just mad, and this and this on the spot. She's gonna wait until I'm freaking locked up, and then be like, "Oh, I'm sober now, so I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to do that." that like, when are you gonna true. get in freaking trouble for doing that? That that message is loud and clear to us. Has that. any any of the things you've had happened with her affected your ability to get work, or is it mostly the COVID and and everything else? Well, I like I said, the the sheet metal job, I got laid off. So that that wasn't due to anything I did, obviously. It was just kind of like, I wasn't the only one that got let go. With that so. question, I'm just trying to, I guess I'm just trying to understand you better. Not knowing you, Darrell. Yeah. And not being black myself. Yeah. And not knowing what your life is like. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get better understanding you. Because you got her to deal with. You got two other kids. I'm sure that's not easy. You got the justice system to deal with. I mean, do you ever feel like fucking white guys, like say me or him, and you've treated us great. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's a little easier for them to to get through. I would think, I would think. I mean, does that make you feel, you've treated us with complete respect, but as, I mean, as a black man, is it kind of some of all that make you, does it make you feel in any way Mad at white people, resentment towards white people, just because of what no, you're not doing. No, definitely or not. Definitely you don't not feel at anything all, like not that at all, good? man. I, 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 I a lot of people do. So good I wasn't raised that. to be to 
you know, my mama always told me it ain't the skin color. You, you, it's as humans we always say don't judge, don't judge, but it's kind of hard to not have an opinion about something. Yeah. But my mama always, she always taught us this. Like I said, my dad got eleven kids, and never took care of any of us. My mama only had two, and my sister's dead, dead and gone. You know, and she always stressed to us, it's not you. You judge people by their character, how they carry themselves, not. By their skin tone, not from their social status. Some people are born into money. Some people aren't. You can't help. You can't help that. You know. You can't help. Your, you know the family you're born. You can't choose your parents. Choose your family. You can't do that. But she always told us that's not how we act. We don't discriminate against people because of their because of their skin. We don't down talk people. We we don't do that shit. My mama would have my ass. Some good person. Man, my mama would have my ass if she found out that I was doing some racial shit or, you know, some bullshit like that. My mama's not going to have it. And even right now to this day, I'm almost 40 years old. And I still, if my mama tell me something, I'm like, yes, ma'am. Because she don't play. She means business when she when she's serious. And that's why I said, if, y'all, if you talk to my mom, she will tell you everything. The girl is a sweetheart mm-hmm. until she gets that bottle. So yesterday you were telling me a story about uh you caught like one on I don't know if it was your first felony, you caught a felony about uh some weed. Right? Well that so was the had, last time I had been in trouble. Right, that was like early like twenty tens. You had like a round or uh, what do you call it? A half a blunt. And then you said you got hooked up with like roach or something like that. Yeah, for roach. You got dicked over that yeah. way. Okay. Yeah. Um same question again. We're treating each other with respect in this room. I know that's not always the case with every cop that you ever run into. You one's last you know, night. Boom! Do you get upset at law enforcement at all? I mean, I, stuff I'm that? not one of those people that just is like, oh, fuck police. Oh, fuck them. Oh, they're all dicks. I'm not that. I mean, that's unrealistic. And I I'm, I'm, would like to consider myself to be a pretty understanding type of person to not think everybody's an asshole. You don't paint with a broad brush. No, I don't you realize that sometimes you might have a bad cop and sometimes you might have a decent guy. Absolutely. That's, that's I don't, reasonable. I don't. You know, I'm I'm too old to to think like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just well, foolishness. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? Stuff, all the stuff going on, you know, in the news. And and I definitely year. wasn't raised like that. Right. You know, I had my first my first girlfriend was a white girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I, I just wasn't. You know, this we didn't. My mom didn't. She didn't raise us like that. You treat everybody the way you want to be treated, regardless of skin skin color and regardless of social status or what how, however they want to say. Nah, we we human beings. That's what it is. You know, somebody disrespect you, then that's something else. But as far as how I was raised, I was raised that way. Like we don't we don't do that. My sounds like a really good person. Don't want to do that, and that's why I'm saying she didn't. Erica, is Erica, does she ever just make you, I can tell she's a very, uh, she can get you, she can get you frustrated. I'm tired of going through this over just, she ever make you lose, she ever cause you to lose control? No. Has it ever gotten physical between the two of you, ever? You know, the only time this ever got physical with me and her, my mom was standing right there, was when she would not leave because she was drunk. And my mom had to come outside to tell her, just go. Then she listened. And where it was didn't get, this was in my mom's backyard. I didn't yeah. hit her. I didn't choke her. I didn't push her. She, she acted like she was going to hit me with her alcohol bottle. She didn't swing it all the way at me, but she like rose it up at me like this, and I grabbed her arm and I was like, "Mom, Mom, get, you know what I'm saying?" And then my mama came out and was like, "Whoa, you gotta go." I'm like, "I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. He cheating on me. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker." And my mama was like, "Just go, just go." I know she wasn't. You know what I mean? She, I knew she was just drunk. Like that's why I, said, I know. I'm not trying to. She, when she is not drinking, she's a sweetheart. So I'm, I'm not gonna demonize her and make it seem like you know 
she's just some scum chick of the earth because she's not. It's just the drinking. How long ago did that happen, what you just told us about? This happened in like August, September. Right. And your mom stopped it. So yes, saw I it. called my mom because I didn't know. What, yeah, she saw it. Hell yeah, she saw it. All right. So in regards to what happened out here with her yesterday, um, part of the reason I'll be straight with you that we asked some of the things we asked Darrell is because part of what we got to do is fact check through, you know. So I know you're telling her, you mean she's crazy, she's off the wall, like I say. It's I just when she drinks. drinks. It's just when she drinks. When she drinks. I just wanted to be fair. I'm not saying yeah. she's just some I didn't see mental her. basket case. Yeah. She does. When she's drunk, in her words is she blacks out, so she doesn't right. remember. I don't know if that's true, but I know she does 180. If you okay. talk to her sober, sweetheart, crack jokes, laugh, smiling, bubbly personality. It's hard not to like her. Yeah, we got the picture on that. Yep. Drunk? Yep, yeah, 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 I've yeah. even, my daughter, her family and all that, we've even recorded her drunk. And played it back for her the next day and said, this is how you act. And she'd be like, I said all this, I did this. is how you act when you're drunk. Now do you see why people don't want to be, now you see why your family is just like basically saying, okay, we're. And I've seen I've seen this before. I've seen this. You're not the only guy, you know, with somebody that's, that acts like this. So I totally understand where you're coming from. Message received. So on that note, Darrell, you know, we just got to, we still don't, for us, we don't totally know at this point. Usually a lot of times there's. One story, and there's the other story. A lot of times, I'll be honest, the, sto- the truth is somewhere in the middle. And that's not necessarily saying you're a liar, she's a liar. All the people we talk to are liars. There's uh, there's always perception. All right? And that's why, you know, what kind of fact checks? Like, all right, is it what this person told me is true? It's like, all right, it doesn't necessarily seem totally, but I could see how they perceive this or that. Or, you know, we fact check with someone and say, okay, yeah, this is how that happened. Um, that's why I'm asking you some of these questions. What's okay. your buddy's name? What's your buddy's phone number? I know. Okay. I know for um, a fact, like though, that, is she would have, knowing her, if I did something to her, she would have called you guys immediately, especially drunk. Especially with her being drunk, she would have let it be known. I'm going to get you. She would have told me. Off top, she would have told me. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm kind of confused, like... And she didn't tell you that she was going to call cops after yesterday? What reason was she, like... That's that's the whole thing I'm thinking, like, you can't... So... Not saying she had on you or asking you she think I... She was. Yeah, well, she always... Every time she's drunk, she says she's going to get me in trouble. That's, like, one of her... Her her main things is when she, she tries to low blow me. She'll take it to... You're not. I'm not gonna let you see your daughter. That's. That it's. It's usually. Oh, I'll get you. Or I'll get you locked up. I'll get you touched. I'll make. I'll make. You, you won't never see your daughter. Fucking. Did she say that yesterday when you got that yes. up? Yes. She did say yes. that. Yes. What specifically? Like you, she you said. Examples there, but what you ain't. She said yesterday. So you out here and you ain't hanging out with me. Or you ain't getting, I'm, I'm gonna get you locked up, and, I, and I'm not giving you your money. Said I'm gonna get you locked up. Yes. Said yes. Okay. Because the money, the money is the reason why I even agreed to meet her. Sure. For your fifty is worth coming out. Yes. So, what's your buddy's name? Can we get that? If we gotta talk to him to verify you're on the up and up, and she's on some BS. His name is Marcus. His last name. I don't know his last name. What his phone number? Uh, four six seven. Oh, we hope if I have my freaking phone somewhere. Four six seven. Uh, six seven eighty five thirty one or thirty or something like that. One one four. Yes, sir. And he lives in Milwaukee? Yes, sir. And you guys came out here together? Yes. Okay, so he has But like I said, the Stephanie was she's a she's a older mixed lady, so she's not you know, she Who do you know in Waukesha other than her? Um, I know a guy named Tyrion. Um I where met Tyrion though. Um I don't know where he lives now. I met I've been knowing him for 
maybe five, six years. I just know he stays in Waukesha. He comes down to Milwaukee a lot, and then he comes back up here. I don't. How old is he? Well, like 34, 35. 34. Where is he? Maybe. Give me I know. Uh, I know a lot of. I know a lot of females. Well, how many times have you been to Terry's house? Um, once in like 2018. Do you remember? It was like a. It was like an apartment. It wasn't a house though. Apartment. Yeah. Do you remember what was near it? Um, I think it was like right on the main street. What's the main street? There's a lot of like, streets. Like whatever, it, whatever it, street downtown. What What would be considered downtown? Where all the bars and restaurants yeah. and it, it, shops are. District. Is Stephanie I'll, place near downtown? Uh, a bunch of bars and a business district right near there. The only thing I can remember is a gas station, like a TD quarter gas station. I think. This street is like a one-way. Whatever street is right here is like a one-way. And it's a gas station like right here. Remember Oconee gas station? It was a mobile speedway quick trip hometown. Not not a quick trip. Not a speedway. Like a, the blue and white one. Blue and white. Any schools or parks nearby our house? Something like that? Anything you remember like that? Trails? I know the... I know that park... I know that park is is by the uh, old girl's house. By whose house? Stephanie? It, yeah. Park. What? Sure. I don't. I don't know the name of the park, but it has like a little creaker. Some. It was something going on out there yesterday to where a lot of shit was blocked off. Okay. I don't. I don't. Like I said, I don't know about Walker Shaw. I don't know, but it seemed like everybody was at that park, kind of walking around that creek. Like a uh, playground type park, or like a like a uh, like a park. It it seemed like a little creek or something. Well, I don't know if you, you would say a creek. What would that be? But a river. Would that be a river? <laughs> just walk so I have a river. <sighs> well, I know it's just a small. It's a small body of water. It's like how would I describe it? But there were barricades blocking with some shit off near there. No, it looked like in that area. In that area. In, in that area, it looked like a bunch of shit was. Like blocked, you mm-hmm. couldn't go down certain streets or some shit. I I don't know, but that park is close to the old girl's house where that's why I said, look, when our friend was like, you know, your baby mama trying to get in touch with you, and I'm like, what she, yeah, what's up? What's she telling you? What's what's going on? And she was just like, well, she said she got some money for you. And I was like, why would she tell somebody else? That's what I started thinking at first. Like, that's like, why is she tell? Because she, she'll tell me the same thing. Don't tell people our business. So then when she put it in, when she merged it in, you out here, you out here, you out here. I'm like, man, yeah, but I'm like, what's up? Like, you, you got, yeah, I'm, okay, cool. You going, you going to, no, not staying out here like that. I'm watching the game and I'm gone. So she tell you where to meet, or you tell her where she to meet? She told me where to meet. Okay. I told her, I said, it's a gas station right here. Mm-hmm. And she was like, is it a park right there? I'm like, I don't know. Is it a park right here? They were like, yeah, it's a park right down here, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, just meet me over there. I'll get the money from you, give you a hug, give you a kiss, and, you know, I'll call you later or whatever. It wasn't supposed to be us hanging out, spending time together. It wasn't that. It wasn't supposed to be that. She got mad because I didn't want to do that. That's why I kind of figured, but like I said, I didn't see her drink. I'm not going to sit here and say, I saw her drink. I'm not going to lie on her. I didn't. But when she started acting like, yeah, you finna, that's when I kind of was like, she probably been drinking. She probably having just, just stopped drinking, but you was drinking some time today. I know you was drinking sometime today. I didn't tell her that. I said, yeah, because she's acting too. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, you just finna, you just finna get, oh, uh, you just think you finna get the money and leave. And you just, you must, you must got some bitch right on you and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, see, this is why. This is why I just should have just watched the game and left, dude. Like, all right, so. The fuck, man? So you came out. How did you get out here again? My friend 
What type of car does he drive? Oh, man. It's like a Kia type of car. I don't know if it's a Kia, but it's a small four-door car like that in that type of model. Okay. What color is it? Like tan. And was it just the two of you that rolled out together? Did anyone mm -hmm. roll out from Milwaukee? With no, it was just us two. Two of us he together. Said, he, he said this probably was going to be some chicks over here. You know, like I said, the Stephanie girl is an older, an older woman. She, you know, likes to party, drink, you know, watch the game. She cooks. Sure. Cool. Fuck it. Let's watch the game. Shit. I, I was only going to probably go to my mom's house and watch the game there. And my mom has to go to work. So I was just going to be sitting there like this. Fuck it. Might as well go. You know what I'm saying? Did he offer and, and at the same time, oh, sorry. cool. I can get the money. You know, that she been holding for me. Yeah. Did he offer to drive? What? I mean, do you have your own car? Did he offer to no, drive? No, I, I don't. How did you guys come I don't own a vehicle. Don't own a vehicle? No. Do you have any car you can drive at all? No. I have license. So you have a I do have license, but no, no vehicle. Don't ever use your niece's, nephew's, mom's car or anything like uh, that? My nephew doesn't have a vehicle. My niece is 14. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so your mom? No, my mom doesn't even know how to drive. She doesn't have a car, doesn't know how to drive? She doesn't know how to drive. Does she she have never a car? learned. Okay. Does she have a car that she lets you use at all? No. Does she have a car at all? Maybe that not that she lets you use. No. Does she have a car in her name at all? I think she did at one point. Does she right now? Not that I know of. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to say no because I don't know. I honestly don't know. Me and my mom just, we was kind of having family issues for a while, so we didn't talk for a while. Issues that didn't have nothing to do with, with this. It was between me and her. So uh, we started back talking when I was in Georgia. So whatever, whatever she had going on when I was on the West Coast, coming back to Milwaukee, I don't know. But I can tell you this. My mom is 60 some years old. She's never drove. She doesn't know how to drive. She doesn't even have a license. Okay. She catches the bus to work, which I don't like her doing because Milwaukee. Sure, she has to go. She works at Freighter. So she has to go. The way her bus route goes, she has to go way up to like 92nd. Then some, some, somewhere she told me they don't even have a. a a bus depot thing, mm -hmm. so it's getting cold as shit, and it's dark out there, and she's just standing out there, and I was just like, damn, I don't want, so I'm like, you probably gonna have to change your route to catch the bus from downtown Milwaukee on Wisconsin Street, downtown Milwaukee, and then go up, because I don't like her, sure, yeah, I don't like her doing that. So you just argued a little bit, and then you, you're saying you walked away yesterday. Yeah, I just told her, I told her, I'm like, I'm not finna, I'm not finna, Freaking! Day. It was yeah. people out there. They t they would t they would tell you I did not put my hands on this woman. I did not push this woman. I did not choke this woman. People I did not like, kick this woman. I did not grab this woman. I did not do anything to this woman. People out there, as in like just regular old civilians. Just regular like civilians. Just people regular that know you. Regular civilians. Did you meet her by yourself? I met her by myself. No one from the house. Went with no you. one. And there was people walking up and down the street. Like I said, it was people out because it was daytime. So it wasn't like we was just yeah. in some secluded area where it was just me and her. Mm -hmm. you, it was it was people out there. And they, but anybody I, that knows you or knows Nobody her. that knows me. Mm -hmm. Nobody that knows me. I don't know if it was anybody around that knows her. But I know people were walking up and down the street. People were walking around that park. Sure. It was like. Basically, we were out in public. Like, if we was out in public, if something would have happened, people would have, yo, what the hell? Like, if, where was we going to go to not be seen? All right. So, I might have missed this. You, you touched on it. You were at the gas station or the park? I know the park's nearby. You met her at the no, gas I'm saying station. The gas station. No, I met her at the park. The gas right. station was by the area that we were in. The gas station is by that park. Yeah, I'm just clarifying. Yeah. Okay. Um, Which car were you in when you met her at the? I didn't park? meet her in the car. I just oh. I walked right over there. You walked. I walked right over there to the park, and 
she was standing like right wherever this entrance to this park is. Like I said, it was people everywhere. So yeah. Anybody would see us standing out there. She was standing right there waiting for me. I walked up, gave her a hug, and she, I was like, and she was just like, well, my friend has my purse, so I don't have the money and all this. I'm like, so you had me come way out here? Like a power player or something? That's, that's basically was like, yeah, uh, I, yeah. Okay. You know, you, you basically, you see how fast you caught on to that? And I was just like, you had me come way out here? You know, I ain't even supposed to be around you like that. You had me come way out here to meet you? For you to try to play and shit like this? I said, no, nah, man, I'm, fin- I'm gone. Yeah. So I'm out. It was daylight when you met up with her. Was it still daylight pretty much when you walked away from her? Yeah, it was daylight the whole time. This was broad daylight. That's what I'm saying. Like, people outside, everything going on, people walking around the park. I'm like, anybody could have saw, anybody would have saw us talking. Anybody would have saw if anything happened. Mm-hmm. Anybody would have saw if I did something to her, she did something to me, if I ran from the scene, if I did this. Anybody would have seen it. Do you know how she got out here to meet you out here? Did she, she didn't say? She's apparently been staying out here. Okay. So we, this is what she told our mutual friend. I don't know if that's true. All right. I have been talking to her and haven't seen her in like yeah. almost a month. That's fine. So I don't I don't know. You said you said you you don't know where your phone is. Um we're talking your cell phone, right? Yeah. You're not sure did you leave it? Do you do you keep that with you? Is that your phone that you have with you all the time? Because you seem I don't know where it is. I don't have it. You seem confused. It's missing. Is that something? Yeah. You take with well. You? Yeah. Like if you go somewhere, do you take your phone? Absolutely. Okay. My mom just got me that phone. It's my first ever iPhone. Okay. I don't know if she was using it first kind of thing, but she was just like, "I got a surprise for you." No, I never had an iPhone. Hopefully, we'll Wait. find it for you. And that's the number with the six one zero. If I had to call you after yeah. today, the six one zero. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's why I was asking him. I said, "Man, they find." When I told them, I said, look, y'all reaching for my ID. That's why I said, how can y'all not find my flip-flops or my phone? Mm-hmm. I had on some Green Bay Packer flip-flops because it was game day. Okay, were you out here at all Saturday? No. You didn't, you come, you never came in to watch show Saturday? Not at all, sir. Okay. Um, is there any reason she would tell us anything different? No. Why no. was she? She know I wasn't out okay. here. Women are crazy, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think this woman is that crazy to just, I mean, she will lie. She, she's shown that, but then she, like I said, she'd just be like, I was mad. I was drunk, I was mad. And sometimes it's just, I was drunk. And I'll be like, but do you know you can't? Right. Because now, now you making it hard for my family because now they looking at it like, we don't want you around her. And I'm like, and I'm going to be honest with you. I love, dude, I've been back and forth with this woman for 16 years. That's kind of hard to just be like, I'm not going to just, I'm just going to completely just act like you don't exist. You got a child. Like, I'm I'm tied to this woman. We shared so many moments that. Family's important. Yeah. I just, I just don't want her to, don't, don't come around me if you're drinking. That's it. We would never have any issues, never, unless she drinks. So after you talked to her, Darrell, um, where did you go? Do you have a, they found it, it was cold yesterday. You didn't have a jacket, did you have a jacket with you? I did, you I did initially have a jacket because like I said, I was, I was riding with somebody else. So I figured. So you didn't if, bring one in anticipation of the I, I didn't because I figured I'm going from the house right to wherever we're going. So I didn't, it wasn't, to me it wasn't like I'm going to hang out with, with y'all all night type of type of deal. We was just supposed to be watching the game, having a few cold ones, and then I was getting dropped back off home. So what happened, Darrell, where you ended up, so I know you say you're not familiar with the area. So At all. I'll lay this out for you, At so all. follow me for a minute. Um, you say you're kind of near this park. I got an idea in my head of where you're talking, based on my knowledge of the city. Um, it's right near Stephanie's where you're hanging around watching the game and Marcus is there. Um, you came out here with your phone, because you take it with you. 
how did you end up at this guy's house? Now you said when you you walked away from Erica, did she go the other way? I don't. You walked away. From what I remember, she just stood there. Okay, she, so you, she was just standing there like. Right. Well, so whatever. you walked away and it was over. It was over. It was over. How did you end up at a guy's house asking to use his phone, which is blocks away from Stephanie's? Okay, I can tell you that based on my knowledge of the city, based on approximately where you're telling me it is, without your phone in your shoes. You understand where that's kind of weird? How did you get to be over there? What happened? Yeah, but what basically happened with that was when I got back over here by old girl house, I just said, because I don't really know Stephanie like that. It's my friend's friend or partner or whatever, whatever the case may be. They was getting into it about pretty much the same thing that I was getting into it with Erica about. I was just Who's like, they? him, him. Who's him? Marcus. Yeah. Him, her, and whoever else. Stephanie. Was there anyone else there other than Yeah, at her house, yeah. Okay. A few girls that I didn't know, but they had already said it was going to be people over here. Okay. So. All right, so I was pissed because I, I feel like I just met up with her, with my baby's mom. I just met up with her for absolutely nothing. You So you, you tell me, okay, you out here in Walkershaw, I'm out here, let's meet up, I got your money, and then I walk over there, and you don't have the money. Or you do, or you don't, you just ain't going to give it to me, however the case may be. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Well, hold on. I so when I get back, got your piss, but when I get back over there, I'm pissed. Okay. They was getting into it, and he like, man, come on, bro, we just going to go, we just going to go. And I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like. I just got into it with it. Now y'all into it. He's like, man, this bitch tripping. Whatever, let's go. I'm like, nah. Nah. I, I uh, no. Nah. I'm like, I'm out, dog. And I just started Marcus walking. wanted to leave? He wanted to leave, but I ain't, I don't know what the fuck he was on. What doobie, do doobie. Was on? He probably didn't even get into it with old girl. But he out there like, man, let's just go, bro. Let's just go, bro. How long have you known Marcus? I know Marcus for years. Years. Okay. I'm going to be straight with you because you've been asking me for that all along. That doesn't make sense. And listen to me, okay? Just listen to me. You go to this house. You leave. It was... That wind was cold as hell. Not at first. Well, by... By the time it was getting later in the day, I mean, after the Packer game, you're talking 3 30, 4 o'clock, it, it was getting cold. I was outside for a while. Yeah, about like so. 3 30, yeah. By the time you're talking, it was getting cold. All right. Marcus is ready to leave because this bitch is being crazy. He's like, I'm out. You just went through the same experience from what you're telling us. You live in Milwaukee. I don't know what well, exactly well, happened with well, him, I mean, I told him about me. Wait out. I know you don't know exactly what happened. But who are you going to trust more? Marcus, who you've known for years, or Stephanie? Why would you walk away, walk all the way down to where you did, leave your phone in the apartment, apparently, no, I did, along I did with your sandals, and mean. go down to where you were and not take the ride back to Milwaukee? You follow what I'm saying? Right. Can you understand? I don't, know if, to, I don't know if he did that went back to Milwaukee, though. I don't know if he did that. But how are you going to get back if you don't get in the car? I called an Uber. That's what I did. So what happened? How did you get all the way to where you went? Because there's all these businesses in between where you were and where you got to. How did you end up at a random house without your shoes and your phone drill? This is what I'm saying. I had my flip-flops on. I had them. Okay. <laughs> I go? just said that. Where did they go? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if... When they slam me down, they just never, I don't know. I'm not throwing two doors, not not just the one. So you had your flip-flops on. I had my Green Bay Packer flip-flops on, yes. Green Bay Packer. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I, did, I wasn't just walking around with no shoes. That didn't happen until after the fact. That's what I'm trying to say, like. So I guess another question I would have for you is if you had your phone too, correct? Yeah. But you didn't leave it at the apartment. 
No. That's why I was telling you it should have been on the grass. Man, right. I, I described it all to you. I said it's black. It has a crack screen. Yep. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Why are you asking other people to use their phones? Why is that guy like My you? phone was dead. Okay. When did it die? I have no idea. Okay. And I didn't have a charger. But you used it for the three-way call. And I used his phone for the three-way call. Okay. Like I said, we got a mutual friend named Michelle. Me, me and Erica do. I've known Michelle just as long as I've known Erica. She was the one that was telling me what's going on with you and your baby mama. Y'all not talking because she's trying to get in touch with you. I said, yeah, I know. I know she's probably trying to get in touch with me. Well, I'm going to merge y'all. That's how I end up talking to her and telling her I'll, I'll you know, I walk over and meet you to get the money or whatever, mm -hmm. get you a hug, get you kiss, whatever. I had my flip flops on then. I wasn't like I said. I wasn't just because the the ways he was making it seem like I was just running around with no shoes to begin with. Right. It's like no. I mean, it was pretty cold. You didn't have a jacket or a sweater. Well, I didn't have a jacket to begin with. Okay. I didn't have a jacket to begin with, but I'm saying my shoes. I I had flip flops. But you had a jacket before. I now. never had a jacket. Okay. I had flip flops. Uh -huh. Green Bay Packers flops without jacket. Right. right, because I didn't feel like I was going to be like, where I'm not going to be outside. Well, mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm not going to be outside. If I'm just going from a car to a house, there's no reason for me to have a coat on. Or, at least that's how I'm thinking. I always do that. That's just like if I had a car and I know I'm going to go somewhere and I'm like, I'm just going from here to here. Well, it's no reason for me to just get all bundled up and do all this and that. It's no reason you, for there still a bunch of people though when you left when you left her house. It was it was still it was still daytime. Okay, it was you said still there were a bunch of people when you were talking to Erica. There was still a bunch of people when you left Stephanie's. When I was no 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 I wasn't talking. When you left Stephanie's, it, it was still daytime. daytime. It was still daytime. Yes. Okay. Were there still a lot of people out? It was still it was still people out. Okay. It was still people out. Um, not a lot in that area. By the park, it was a lot of people out. Okay. Like I said, it looked like something was, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> but it was a lot of people out. And it was, like I said, it was people, it was older couples walking down the street. It was younger people walking down the street. People was like an event or something was going on? I, I don't know, but it kind of seemed like it was a lot, like it was something going on to where it was vibrant. Because there was a lot of people everywhere. Walking everywhere. up and down the street. Everywhere. It's people, 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 people. That's why I'm saying, like, if I got into a fight with her right there, it would be Somewhere. impossible for somebody to not be like, hey, this guy's fighting this chick or whatever the case may be. Like, it, how could somebody not see something? How long was it be between leaving Stephanie's and those cops yelling at you at the door of that guy's house? Was it dark when they yelled at you? Yeah, by the time they came, it was dark. Okay. But we had been sitting out there. We had been sitting out there for a minute, me, me and the guy. We were sitting right there on the porch. We were just sitting there. To find how long? Uh, estimate. Uh, maybe all, maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe. Okay. It wasn't long, long, but it was, it was long enough for like, like I said, he let me use his phone. We sat on the porch. We were sitting right there, just like this, just sitting on the porch. While I called, called me an Uber. I called the Uber. I said, "Look, man, I, I let him know. I said, look, I ain't trying to rob you or nothing like that.' Because when I knocked on the door, he kind of was like, "Whoa!" I'm like, "Look, I don't got no weapons. I'm not trying to break in your house. I'm not trying to rob you. Nothing like that, dog." I just need to call an Uber. That's it. You, I'm not, you know, he was just like, okay. I come out. Boom. I, yo, I need an Uber to, yo, what's your address? He told me the address. And we was just sitting there waiting. That's how I was going to get back home. I told him, I said, I got, I got the money on my car. I'm not asking you for no money. I just need to use your phone. Mm -hmm. That's it. That was it. That was all. And then from there, we sat on the porch and just shot the shit out. I'm going to say, you told me last night he was cool with that. Like, he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't being weird. He wasn't. He was like, oh, yeah, I'll help you out. Yeah, we just sat there on the porch. Right. 
And he asked me, he did ask me, he said, do you need a jacket? I said, no, I'm straight. Like, I, I'd be home, as soon as the Uber come, I know it's probably going to cost me cheap. <laughs> probably like $40 to get from me. I'm guessing. I don't I don't know. But mm-hmm. probably. But I had enough on my car to where I knew I could get home. <clears throat> and that's that was the main thing. I'm like, I'm just going home. She can keep the money or whatever. I didn't even try right. to contact her further. I just was like, I'm, I'm gone. I'm calling yeah. this Uber, and I'm going home. That's it. Let me ask you this, Darrell. So you weren't out. You weren't out in Waukesha Saturday, just Sunday. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. Nothing physical yesterday. Um, like I told you, you're a part in the investigation. There's a lot of parts, right? To any investigation, there's investigation people we talk. Were... Well, this domestic abuse thing I'm telling you about. Right? Okay. Okay. So wait. Hold on. Let me. Oh, okay. Let me go. I'm sorry. You I just had a about, question. But... You talked about being a you know a religious man, right? I can do better. I can definitely do better. We all could. I'm not. We all could. That's why. That's why. Yesterday was a mistake. I should have just freaking watched the game and just fucking went home. Right. Because. That's the thing. What do What do they teach us in Christianity? Throughout that they teach us that we're broken, right? We're sinners. Even when we're born, we're born sinners. We're broken. That's why. Psalm fifty-one, seventeen. Thankful for God's. Grace and forgiveness, right? When we ask for it, um, even though we don't deserve it, but when we ask for it, He gives it. All right, you're a father. You got three children, 18 to 18, 14, and seven. Yes, sir. All right, you got a mama that raised you well, and a God you you believe in. Absolutely. All right, and all of them are. Here's the thing: they'll all want is to tell that you're telling the absolute, whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? Absolutely. So help you God, right? Absolutely. I'm familiar. We've all heard that, right? Um, and I just have concerns if I fact check that Darrell's not telling me the truth. You don't have a car, so Marcus had to bring you out. You don't own a car. Your mom doesn't own a car, right? So Marcus had to bring you out. So why did we find you with a car key in your pocket? It wasn't in my pocket. I don't even know where they said that was laying on the ground. That's yours. Yeah. It's it's yours. It should have been by my ID. Yeah, it's yours. It's your car key, okay? Because it goes to a Ford Escape in your mom's name covered in Waukesha. Okay. Listen, Darrell. I'm trying to be as open and honest with you as I can be. You know, I'm Christian too. And believe me, I'm not perfect. And neither are you. And I'm not calling you a terrible man. I'm not saying you were out yesterday hunting and just let me finish. But you did not walk to that house. You did not walk to that house. You did not come here in a tan Kia. You didn't. Okay. Hello? You did not come out here in a tan Kia. Okay? You got a key in your pocket. Your car, your mom's name. Okay? And that key works for that car. For the love of God, Marcus. For yourself, for your family. You know what happened yesterday for the people. Tell me what happened. Well, what? With the car. What am I being With your mom's for? car. You're driving goofy. People called in. You drove out of there in your mom's car, the red car. You're driving a little silly, probably because you're pissed. You met up with Erica in the car at the park. Well, initially, I believe you told us the gas station. Do I have that right? And then you changed it to the park. So that's an no, it's No, I said the house was by the gas station. You, when you said, you said what was by... You said you went Walmart. and it was by a gas station. That's where you met her. No, 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 no. I said I met her at the park. Okay. At well, a creek. Met her, I say that. You met her at the park in your mom's car. A red Ford Escape. She got in. You talked. And what you're telling me seems pretty consistent that there was nothing physical between the two. You know, no, I did. No. But you met her in the car. I didn't put my hands on her. Nothing but like you that. met her in the car. Can, what's going on, man? Asking you a question. Just be. You were out there just driving kind of crazy. On, Some people said you were driving kind of crazy. We got reports of it. You got the key. You got the car. 
did you take the car or did your mom give you the car? I know you know what car I'm talking about. I just want to know. <laughs> so, so people now reported that you have all those okay, people no, 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 reported that no. car driving a bit erratic. I, I know what you're saying. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. We all been straight up with each other. You knew it was more to what you was asking me yesterday. Didn't know that would sure. explain that would explain the FBI and all that, right? They're not here today. So if it's that big a deal, you don't see them here today. Come on, Kurt. Hey, we been we been. You guys met in the car. We've been cool, yeah, man, the whole time. If I did something, yeah. if I did something wrong, yeah, that's why they were here. But do you see them here today? They're not here today. Yeah, but but y'all lied to me, man. You made it seem like they just come for no reason. Well, here's the thing, Darrell. And I'm like, what hey, if I if it's today for a minute? I can, I give, you a, I can give you a clean slate. I, I apologize because you have lied to us as well because you came out here in the red Ford Escape. Okay, that is. What you came out here in. You had the key. Alright? So, what I want to do is try to give us all a chance to reset. You understand what I'm saying? Start over. Because you're not giving us an accurate story. You didn't ride out with Marcus in a tan car. You said your mom doesn't have a car. I just told you we've disproven that. Alright? I don't know what kind of woman she is. I don't know what y'all been through. But you were seen in the car driving kind of, driving kind of acting a fool, okay? In basically the same area that you've already been able to describe to me. I'm just trying to figure out how and why it happened. What made you tear out of there? What made you so mad where you're like, fuck it, and you raced on out of there? And then people call, man, this guy, is, he's driving around here kind of fast. All I want to know, like I said, y'all been cool with me. Am I charged with anything? That's all I want to know. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Right now. I, I'm, listen, I was. You were driving a bit. So, listen, might be I was so, be oh, listen, listen. No, I don't drink. That, 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 you said that you had a couple cold ones during the game. No, nah, yeah, I, yeah. But I'm saying the hard alcohol okay. is not my thing. I was not drunk. When you get the blood, that is not going to be any alcohol in it. Okay. THC, for sure, because I smoke. And if it stays in your system for 30 days, then it's going to be in there. No hard alcohol. I wasn't drunk. Okay. All I was saying was. It just felt like let's railroad this dude. Because it, 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 that's how it felt. One. The whole process yesterday, and I know you guys are a little bit different than Milwaukee. I was never two different departments, two different things. I get it. But Milwaukee would have just been like, look, we want to talk to you about this, this what you're charged with, this and this and this, this what you're looking at. Which y'all was kind of like, y'all know, but y'all just not going to say that. There were a lot of things going on yesterday. That's not a lie. A lot of officers were busy on other stuff. So, it was not and they, were, they, they weren't there. able to find her. They knew they knew you had talked to her, but they, they weren't. She didn't call it. All I'm saying is she didn't say I hit her, did she? Yesterday, no. Yeah, because yeah, I'm true. like, I did not. So, that's, at least y'all know that mm -hmm. that much. I did not put my hands on this woman. Mm -hmm. At all. Not a choke, not a kick, not a slap, not a punch, yeah. not a push, not a grab. Not yesterday, right. right. I did not touch her. Right, so what had you so mad? Because you had your mom's car. Or I don't know if you use it. Who uses it? You got the key in the car. Is it hers? Is it yours that she lets you use? Let's clean that part up. Whose car is it? It's my mom's car. Okay. How often do you drive it? Um... Not very much. It's the Red Ford Escape? It's 
So all I want to know, please, just please, whatever you can't tell me, I understand. I understand. All I want to know, just, just so I can have a peace of mind, just for, just for my girls, man. What am I looking at? Well, the fact you were kind of racing around up and down the street. That's the first part. Right? So, we're not quite there yet. I'm trying to figure out if I've got all my facts right first. So, this wasn't a three-way call. Let's back up to there for a second. How did you come to meet her in the... How did you come to meet her in the park? So y'all not can't y'all can't tell me nothing. Well, you were driving. You, you told me yesterday they took the blood. Oh yeah, I know that. So I mean, Got some reckless driving. Reckless driving. Yeah, because you kind of accelerated out of there. Why did you tear out of the park so fast? Reckless driving. Why'd you tear out of the park so fast? So, you don't got to tase me, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just a uh, place up my hand. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm no, not, that wasn't I'm not, that. I'm not trying that to do nothing crazy no, that here. Wasn't that. No, I, no, I've been tased before, so when I see that, it's like, whoa, you don't have to do that, man. I already my, got slammed on my shoulder. <laughs> my bad. There was nothing there. Okay. Was just I'm me just, breath in my hand. I'm just saying. Yep. Nope. nope. I'm, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to try to run. I'm not going to try to hurt anybody or myself or anything. <laughs> that, that's my bad. There was nothing. There's no message there. Oh. What am I looking at? I don't have a problem with telling you everything you need to know. I just want to know what I'm looking at, just for my kids' sake, so uh -huh. I can just at least. So we're fact collectors, like I was telling you before. My job isn't to pin something on you that you didn't do. My job is to figure out what happened, what the truth is. And as he was explaining before, there's, you know, one version, somebody else's version. In the case of the domestic stuff, Erica, what she said to the officers, what you're telling us. And sometimes, most of the time, the truth somewhere in the middle. So, of we, we're, so our job is to be collect all the truth. At this time, you're not being charged with anything. Nothing's up at the DA's office. I haven't written any reports. Jay hasn't written any report. That's what I was saying. Because I'm still like, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk to anybody. So I was just kind of like, if I did get the opportunity, I'm going to call, obviously, home to see if my oh, girls man. are. Yeah, see if my girls are okay. So what am I supposed to tell them? Like, you know. What was going on? And that's, I don't know and that's what I'm I don't know if I'm even coming home. I don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of the point of this this interview with you talking to us, so we can get that background. And if there are charges, that they're appropriate. Like we said, Erica, intoxicated, troublemaker, previously uh, recanted about stuff. That stuff that we're going to go look into. A Milwaukee, you ever had this lady call and say, "Hey, that was that was garbage." And I said, "You know, you told us that she's done that in the past." She does it every time. Right. And that's why I said, you said you talked to her, right? Honestly. No, I didn't talk to her. We listened to the interview. Do you want any more of this to eat? Uh, that fish sandwich. That fish it's sandwich. in a bigger bag. Oh, the oh, little okay. bag. I just brought them both. I didn't have Okay. So like I said, we're just here collecting, collecting the facts. That's the point of this interview, is, is to collect facts. Because I don't want to tell you that, you know, you're charged with XYZ if you didn't do XYZ. we got to collect it. we got to, that's... It's all fact gathered. I just feel like y'all know more than what y'all say, though. And that's what that's what has me like, like, why should I cooperate when there's no cooperation with me? Nothing, nothing I'm saying is going to help me. I mean, like, it doesn't make sense to you that we're trying to gather the facts? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't make sense, you know, okay. what you guys are doing. I'm just saying I don't want to get railroaded by people not being honest. That's all I'm saying. If, if I don't know what I'm looking at, it's like, what the hell? Like, why should why should I just sit here and be like, oh, this is everything and blah, 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 blah. And then, and then people come back and be like, okay, well, okay, now we, yeah, so now we're going to charge with this and this and this and this and this when y'all knew this from the, the door. Well, we don't know that we're going to charge you 
we're, we're that's again the fact that yeah, like, we're ooh. asking the questions about you know what I mean. That's why we're asking. That's why we ask the questions so that we can figure the figure it out. Like we said, our our goal isn't to get you in trouble and pin anything and everything on you. Our goal is to find out the truth about what happened. You know a version of events that happened, and we want to hear that from you so that we understand that by me not of events. by me being one hundred percent honest, I'm still going to get charged with not being honest. You know, obstructing? Yeah. I'm not doing that. That's not, yeah. That's you not know what I mean? And it's like, I'm only doing that. I'm not doing I, that. The, my thing is, I don't have, I know that I didn't put my hands on this woman. I know, like I said, this, I love this girl, man. Like, regardless to anything, we don't end up being together. That's why I don't understand why we go through, like, why people can say something. That they know didn't happen, and you still get jammed up for it. Right. I don't think it's right. No, and that's why we're asking those questions. So you don't I, get I think up she should have just been like, "Look, man, this because I haven't been even talking to her. I haven't been trying to get in contact with her. I haven't been trying to reach out to her. I haven't been doing any of that. But she's been doing it with me. Mm-hmm. And the fact that yeah, you do have some money in mind that you were you were holding for for me." I do need that at this point, but don't make it seem like I just like I'm just the type of guy that just wake up in the morning and just want to beat the hell out of you. Like I'm not that type of dude. No, I know. And you know, and she knows this. I I don't believe that you are. But what the picture that you're painting for me is that yesterday she did that to you. Hey, I got I got money. I got mm-hmm. your money. You go. She doesn't have your money. You get mad. You do the right thing. You didn't hit her. You didn't succumb to any of those. At all. Right. <laughs> I did not put my hands on the woman at all. Lesser, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. No problem. You didn't do any of the things that lesser men would do when they get pissed off at their ladies that's dicking them around. I know how to. So you got I mad. know how to remove myself. Right. So you got mad and you removed yourself. But when you removed yourself, you tore out of there in the car in your, your mom's escape. And you were driving. driving Where were you going? Movie. Where were you going when you left? When you pull away in the car. This is my thing. Anything that I say, I, I've been through this too many times. I, I, I try to be cooperative, straight up with, and then I'll come back and I still have a million charges. And nobody was, nobody was straight up with me. And it's like, Nobody don't have to lie to me. If I'm facing some serious charges, I'm facing some serious charges. If I'm not, I'm not. I just be wanting to know the truth. They don't even have to tell me what the charges are. Mm-hmm. Just, hey, man, it's kind of bad. Or, hey, man, like, you no, know, you keep showing us the real. We wipe this off and you just give me, you know what I mean? And then we go from there. That's different. But every time I go through this, even when I know it, I'm like, okay. Like, I just went th- through this with her. And I'm like, I know I didn't do nothing. There's no, it's no reason for me not to, you know, talk to the, the guy or whatever, the police guy or whatever. So I know I didn't do anything. I know she's going to sit up and be like, she was just drunk, she was mad, which she did, which I told him she was going to do. And this guy was just like, oh, yeah, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. Coming back and I got seven, eight charges, and I'm like, what? So your issue right now with us is you feel like you're, we're not sure. I'm getting railroaded. Okay. I know I am. No, y- okay. y'all not telling me what's really going on. But we're not, we're not getting the full truth either. I know, but I mean, what I was saying was, I had an issue. So when you left, you guys met in the car. You didn't walk there. She if got I, in the if car. I tell you everything that happened, are y'all going to be straight up with me about what I'm facing? That's all I want to know. Well, I don't want to know understand. anything else. I don't need you guys to tell me, hey, man, this is this, that is that, this is this. I just want to know. Just, just, so just, I don't know just, just, just right for the now. fact, Just for the fact that, like I said, my, my girls. Yeah, no, I got you. I don't know the entirety right now. So while I'm here, 
Um, a couple of officers talked to Erica. Um, I'm not the only one working on it, so I don't know everything. I got a report to a boss, so I don't know exactly everything that's going to be yet. And that part's not a lie. I don't know exactly everything that's going to be yet. I'm just trying to figure out to get to that point where I can have a clear idea and call who I need to call to get some of the information to find that all out. I'm trying to get a clear idea of what really happened regarding you and her. And when you drove away, where you were going. Or did you not know? You know what I'm saying? Because right now, I don't know everything. Wow. Because I'm out here and they're out there. I'll watch them. Right, and I'm like, how long do I got to see in these, where are we at? Skigo. How long do I got to see in these jails before I can call somebody? Get a phone call. Let my, you know, let my daughters know. Hey, man, I don't know what's going on, but it, it's good to hear your voice. Are y'all okay? Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying we're to, to get point. to that point, Darrell. But the question I asked you when you left, where were you? Did you know or did you not know? Were you just mad and you left? Where were you going when you initially drove off? That's an easy. If you didn't know where the hell you were going, you didn't have an idea. You didn't have a particular destination in mind, you know, so be it. And we've been talking a couple hours. You want to sit and eat a minute? I wish they had some Tylenol. I've been trying to fight this pain, man, since... They might, I don't know. They show... I, I, I don't know how... Did you ask them? Yes. So they don't? They just said they'll see. Okay. Yeah. We'll see... It hurt worse now than it did yesterday, or last night, rather. Yeah, it's going to be sore. It's definitely sore. There's no doubt about that. Oh, my God. We'll take a break and see if we, uh, we can round up some time while we're meet. Yeah, we can see if we can. How about we see if we want me to see if I can find some? Yeah, I just wanted to. Let me see if I can find some. There's so many things going through my mind right now, the pain, the... You I'm don't not know. Even, I didn't even know... She called the, the word. She didn't call like the cops or yeah, someone else. Did. I know you said you, you lost your phone, or you didn't yeah. know where, where it went dead, and now you don't know where it is. If we find it, so we know it's yours, can get it back to you. I know you said it's cracked, but no, well, it, it's a screen is cracked, but it has a. Um, I don't think the, it went all the way to the glass. The coast, so we know it's yours, and if we can try um, to return it. it, it doesn't. It doesn't have a number code. It has. You have to. Can you draw it? Do it with, with that. Can you draw it? It's dead. It's not even going to turn on. Well, <laughs> yeah, but we don't want to give it to somebody charge else. It. We don't want to give it to somebody else. Are you able to, it's like... It's a seven. It's typically it's the phone. The phone is dead, so... Like I said, we can charge it. I don't want somebody else to say, oh, that's my phone. And you want to your property to somebody else. Wait a minute, so that sounds like y'all got my phone. If we find it. I didn't say we had it, I said if we find it. This is seven. All right, so in that direction? Okay. All right, so this way down? Okay. No, I don't know if they have it now, but if we find it, you don't have it, so it think to be in somewhere in the area of that house. Man, this wow. So you want us to look for yeah. some Tylenol? Yeah, it would be good to just kill some of these pain, but I just like I said, man, I I don't want you guys to be like, man, I'm it's just so much going through my head. The only the I main thing I'm thinking back, about yeah. is is my girls, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, man, Erica, man, I love that girl, man. And, and like, there's no reason for her to put me in this type of position because you're mad at me, dude. You know I didn't put my hands on you. You know I didn't. Yeah. Not, not one thing, like I said, not a slap, not a punch, not a kick, not a push, not a choke, a grab. I didn't snatch her up, or you know what I'm saying. 
nothing. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even been around you if you didn't say you had my money. I wouldn't I would have never came around her. I would have just let it play out. And then, you know, eventually we're gonna talk. That's the thing about that. We're gonna talk. We're gonna eventually be back around each other. Our only problems is when she drinks. When she drinks, that's when everything goes left. That's the only time me and her ever have issues. The only time. Like she's she's not a bad woman, man. It's just that alcohol. It it mm -hmm. just, I don't know what it does to her. And she's been drinking for a long time. And it just it just makes her she just you'll be like, I don't even know this person. And then when she's sober again, it's I'm sorry, I'm this, I'm that, she's crying, she's this, she's this, she's that. And it's like, I love you anyway. I just want you to stop drinking. And that's it. Just stop drinking, man. You, you, Get rid of that stuff, right? Man, it could because it man, we've lost so much, not just me and her. We've both lost so much because of it. You know, it's to the point, like I said, where my mom's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. If she drinking, she can't be. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like that because we all a family. Yeah. Your mom's a pretty good judge of character and whatnot. Yeah, and I'm just like, come on, man. Like, I'm going, we going to be together anyway. So why keep having me go through all this and that when you know I'm, try I'm trying my hardest <laughs> To get back on track, man. I'm tired of I'm tired of sitting in places like this, being cuffed, getting my freedom taken from me. I'm tired of it. I'm not a bad dude, man. I don't run around here robbing people and carjacking people and some of this shit. I don't sell drugs. Mm -hmm. I'm not into none of that shit. No, and no one here said you were. I know. I'm just saying. You know, I'm, I'm not into none of none of this garbage. Said you were. It's just I have a freaking problem with my baby mama because me and her love each other and she drinks and we won't stay away from each other. That's my biggest thing right now. Right. Is the fact that you can't expect me to just throw 16 years just down the drain and be like, oh, I'm just going to act like she doesn't exist. I'm not going to do that to her. And then that's, gonna, that's only going to hurt my daughter because my daughter is like she really pushes that. I want you guys to work it out. I want you guys to get along more. I want you guys to... And if I'm telling my daughter, oh, I'm not messing with your mama, blah, 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 blah. It's going to hurt her, too. And, you know, I, I want... I want to be happy, but I want my girls and my kids to be happy. And I'm saying all my girls. Mom, Erica, my daughters... Just one was best for him. Yeah, I mean, I'll... yeah, you seem like uh, no one's saying, no one's saying you're, uh, no one's saying you're a terrible guy here, Darrell. But you know, you don't. I'm just asking for you to be. Make sure you're being straight about everything with Erica and, you know, how you got out here. You want us to go, what were you going to say? I said, yeah, I know what you mean. It's just, man, it's just hard. It's just hard going through. It seems like I just can't catch a break, man. You know, just uh, one one of my open cases is almost two years old. I've been I've been fighting this, and I've been getting everything back on track. Had my job, lost that from you know just being like I said, I didn't get fired or anything, and I wasn't sure. the only person that got laid off. So it wasn't just a me thing. You know, a lot of people a lot of people lost that job. Um, man, it just it seemed like. Like, right when I'm, like, right, I can feel it like I'm going to turn that corner. Everything's going to line up. Something happened. And it's like, what am I doing to deserve it? I, I can see if I was, you know, 
involved with a lot of the shit that goes on in Milwaukee. I can see that. But you're not. I'm not. Jimmy. Jimmy getting still, I'm still getting fucked over. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, man. Oh, man, dude. All I keep seeing is my baby girl's face. I just keep seeing it's like a replay. Your fourteen year old or your youngest? My seven year old. Yeah, she's the she's like a daddy, daddy, daddy's girl. Hmm. Like like I don't even think I can stress it. Like I, I couldn't even stress it. Like a daddy, 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 daddy's girl. Right. It just, man, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> besides physically hurting, I'm just like, my heart is hurting, man, because I keep having to go through stuff like this and being away from her. I'm missing her grow up, man. My mom's getting older. Tomorrow I ain't promised. Something could happen to her, and I'm in a situation like this, and I can't even help my family. I can't even help, you know, God forbid, if something was to happen to my mom, I can't even help her. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a lot of things that I think about because I'm getting older. And it's like, my mom ain't going to always be here. You know, my sister died when she was 31. I've been helping raise her kids since. Her son is grown now, but she still got a 14-year-old. That she never, she never even got a chance to see her son walk across the stage. I got a chance to see my son do that. That's a proud moment. Like, I got my son through high school. Now I'm waiting on the girls, man. It's just like, it's so much for me to look forward to. But it's like, <laughs> this woman, man. And I love her to death, man. I want her to be my wife, man. But I just wish somebody could tell her that. Like, I wish somebody could really tell her, like, man, this dude loves you, man. Why are you doing this to this guy, man? He literally wants to marry you. 16 years, man, off and on. I'm not going to go mess with nobody else, man. That That's the person that I want to be with. But I'm not going to continue to be the scapegoat because you want to drink. And, and when you know I don't, be, you making it seem like I just beat up on you. Like I'm just like you're a punching bag or something. I don't wake up and be like, oh, bitch, I'm going to hit you. Well, I'm gonna hit. Like what? Mm -hmm. It's like almost like I'm demonized here. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying you're a demon. No, not you. Not not, not y'all saying that. Yeah. But it's just, it. I feel that way because you're trying to... Trying to just I I know you heard that. Oh my god. Uh oh that fucking hurt. Sure. I know you heard that. I heard it. Check. We're gonna go check with them. Maybe they'll listen to us a little bit better. Fuck. You wanna oh. check? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, give us a minute. Ah uh, see what we got. Dude, they it got it how how it gotta be something wrong, man. How in the hell does it? Sometimes sprains will pop too. Yeah, but why is it hurting like this? And they say there's nothing. Dude, the sprains can actually be more painful than a break. Yeah. Whatever, whatever they got, whatever they did, it, it hurt so bad. Mm -hmm. You want to keep the food? Why don't you keep the food in the soda and we'll be back in the kitchen? Ah.
think we got that Tylenol. We'll be right with you. Why did you talk to that girl? That's what my mom is going to say. Why didn't you just let that girl... Why did you talk to that girl? That's going to be her thing. Why did you talk to that girl? It's like, Mom, you just... You don't understand, man. 16 years off and on is a long time to just be like... I'm not messing with somebody anymore. You know? Once you have a kid with somebody, it changes everything. Well, with my son, Mom, it was different. You know, with my uh, baby girl's mom, it was different. But with her, it was like we we had more history. We spent more time with each other. Like we really was around each other. We got really got to know each other. We saw the good, the bad, the ugly of each other. We been through stuff together. We shared a lot of great moments. So it's like it's just hard to just be like forget you. It's, it's hard. It's hard to just for me to just throw her away, man. I don't want to do that to her. And it's like I probably know I should at this point because you keep getting me in trouble when you don't. You do things you don't have to do. You didn't have to do this. You didn't. You forgive her after those incidents, or is it kind of something that's difficult? There's man. no judgment there, but. Man, I, like at this point, I don't know because it's like I don't even know when I'm ever even gonna be able to hug and kiss my girls again. Mm-hmm. And all of them. My mom, like I said, she's getting older. She can go today, tomorrow. Like, not wishing that, but it can happen. And then where does that leave me? I can't even see my mom get buried, or I can't even see my mom. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? What, what happens, like, my. my if some crazy person or somebody just, just decides to shoot up the school one day and my daughter's in there. So it's so much stuff that I think about at this age, like that I wasn't thinking about ten years ago. Sure. And stuff like that. Because I'm getting dude, I don't have like my time is on borrowed time. I'm not the healthiest of people, so my time is even on borrowed time. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, don't do this to me, man, when you know it's supposed to be all love, man. Like, you know what my family's about. You know how we, it's supposed to be all love. Don't do this to me. Not not why. If you're going to do it, if I'm going to get domestic, let it be because I did something. I agree with you fully. And, and, and if it was that, I would be like, yo. I slapped her. You, you know, y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do to me for that? Hey, you know, mm-hmm. we got into it. We fought. 
But not because you mad. You think it's other females. You think and then you plan like you know that's my money you got. That's not even your money. Like so, was that the bribe? Was no. that to, was that you know? I mean, that's what it seemed like. Now you just use that to. Because she kept saying, I ain't seen you in a month. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to do this and do that. You know, I'm like, I don't want to do none of the sexual stuff. But once she says, hey, I got your money, gets you out there. So like I said, it sounds like a power play. It, it's my money. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, who's who's not going to be like, I mean, I got bills to pay too. Mm-hmm. I got kids to feed too. Sounds like, yeah. She's not a wise investment in terms of and that's why I see somebody your money. You seen you seen my ID and my car you know what I'm saying? Like I make sure that my kids can eat. You know, at least that. You know, I you know, and whatever else I can do, I try to do. But everything was lining up. Mm-hmm. Like I most likely can get my job back. Now I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm hurt, man. Because it's like, if she doesn't tell the truth about this, where does that leave me? Can I step off for a moment? I can only give you like two. Yeah, that's obvious. It's getting to the point where I'm like, I managed all the pain I can manage. <laughs> I managed all the pain I can manage. So what was your question you're asking when I stepped back in? She tells the truth and says, hey man. Well, obviously they know I didn't put my hands on her or anything like that. Sure, right. Once she lets you guys know, hey man, I was just pissed off. Then, then what? Well, okay. So she tells us she's just pissed off. Um, so the thing that's important to me, and especially to you, because you know you talked about your faith and all is just being honest, no matter what the situation is. Both big and little. Not just big stuff, but little shit too. Just being, you know, straight up. This um, well, hold on, Julian. Yeah, I heard it. We, are, we kind of touched on it. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it. I hear it. But, you know, just... I know your kids are important to you, okay? I know your mom's important. Man. Family's important. Man. You want the best for them, right? You want them to be safe. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out when you left there yesterday, where you were going. That's basically it. Where you were trying to go. What? I think. What happened? Think that, yeah, that's okay. What and what? And what would you want someone to tell me if, you know, after what happened when you left, it involved one of your family members? No one's. You got you got some injuries, right? Yeah, that was just people, from, no, that not was just you, from slam, not you. Slam. From after you drove away, some people had to get checked out at the hospital, and they're all right. They had to get checked out. Now, you, know what what you know what I'm talking about. They had oh, to get wait, checked out. What do you mean? After you left yesterday, after you drove off, okay, you kind of tore out of there, and you were upset. There are a lot of, like you said, there were there were some people around, and you know couple injuries to some people's legs. I know you were driving the car, all right, but just we're trying to understand what happened. What would what would Darrell want Ben to say to me if so wait, Ben were so upset and there was an accident and that's what you was alluding to. Yeah. Right. If it was your mom or your kids. Well, I mean you were just telling me how concerned you are about your your daughters, right? Right. You're right. concerned no, about your mom, and you're concerned about. So, what is it that you think that we're alluding to? 
because you're concerned about going away for a long time. You've been hummed up for domestics before, and you post bail. You go about busy. You know while you're on bail, you can have a job. You go about. You go back to your home. You know that. Why are Why are you? You were just telling me before I stepped out that you were concerned about going away for a long time. Why? Yeah, why, do you, why do you feel that way? I feel that way because I already have an open case. I'm not even sentenced on that yet. I was supposed to get sentenced on the 11th. But everything is, you know, getting pushed back for one reason or another. But that case should have been already... I was already looking for, like, okay, cool, I'm going to have some sense of norm normalcy again because I'm on probation. That's like a bail jumping charge, though. What? Your other case. If you violated your other case, that's not... Bail jumping doesn't push you away for a long time. No, 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 no. I'm saying my open case was dealing with possession of a firearm. Okay. So technically they can send me away for that. That's what they were talking about before when it was I was initially going through it. And then over time, they kind of, you know, softened their stance because I had sat so mm -hmm. long in the House of Correction that by the time I actually got to a certain point in that case, they were just kind of like, we got 400 cases. My judge had 400 cases backed up that was supposed to go to trial because of COVID. Because nobody was getting a 90-day speedy trial granted. So he kept having to push it back and push it back and push it back and push it back and push it back. So you're worried, so I was, you're worried about that? I'm worried about whatever this domestic stuff and whatever's going on with this tied up to that. And it's just like... Well, we don't, we don't tie it all in. We don't tie it all into it. I'm not... You know, I'm not worried about what's going on out there, but, you know, what I'm asking you is, you care about your family, you care about your mom. Man, my right? daughters, <laughs> you I care about what, what I'm, what I'm asking That's you about, strange. what I'm asking you about yesterday, okay, after you left, um, isn't, to me, isn't an end of the world thing. Just simply asking you, well, I mean, so why do you react that way? What? Why do you react? A bail jumping? Combined I'm not talking about a bail jumping. I'm talking about, so when you left, okay, you came out here, you had your mom's car, right? Um, and you left, all right? And I think you were angry, and you left, and you were trying to get the hell away from her because she drives you crazy. She just makes you fucking nuts. And you're not familiar with the area. Dead, right? right? You weren't out. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying you're you're a terrible guy, and that you were out on some quest other than necessarily to get out of it. Okay. But you brought the car out. Did she give it to you, or did you take it? And that's Milwaukee. I mean, I don't. If you took it, you took it. I can't do anything about it. I don't take. I don't take anything from anybody. So she let you use it. I didn't take anything from anybody. So she let you use. So what I'm getting at is with what happened yesterday, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's not like I told you, you know, this this end of the world thing, this end all be all thing. You know, I'm not. It sounds sound like I'm there's not a lot you, more that's not, not being calling you. You know, I, I know, I know, I know, I know you're not. But I'm just being honest too. It sounds like it's a lot more than what y'all telling me. What would you want? someone to do, what would you want my partner to say to me if, you know, he was driving a car around and your mom had a broken foot, your kid had a broken foot, one of your kids that you love so much and you are so important to you? So you said I broke somebody's foot? I'm asking you what you want someone to do. Did you? No. So what happened when you drove away yesterday? Where did it you go? It seemed like you saying you know. Cause you just said I'm broken foot. Come on, man. Yo, so you playing now, man. So you I'm talking like, about your family, right? So what would you want like someone you. to do? I'm not. I'm not saying you know. Y'all been straight up with me. I don't got no issues with you guys whatsoever. But I know, I know when somebody's not telling the whole thing, man. 
without telling me everything that's going I on. I told you from the start, though, Darrell, that part of this was, even last night, I told you, it was, you know, a conversation. And what I'm asking is, okay, you got a, you got a little girl, 7, 14, 18. I mean, you know, they're young. Even 18 is very young. Yeah, still a kid, yeah. Grown, but still. So something happened, and they got injured. Not a life-threatening injury, but an injury, right? If my kids so, got Yeah, injured. something happened to one of them. They got injured. Not a life-threatening injury, but, you know, some type of injury. And I was talking with someone who knew something about it. What would you want them to tell me? What would I want them to tell you? Yeah. You understand where I'm going with that? Yeah, I understand where you're going with it. I'm, I'm just well, saying, you want them I to say? feel like it's more that's not being said. It's something somewhere, cause this is, and I'm saying that only because... I'm, what are you looking to hear, Darrell? I guess is the question. Because I'm getting information, and like I told you, fact-checking it, getting things from other... I'm not, like I told you, some people have talked to Erica. I'm not necessarily... He and I are the only two people working. Right. You were the one in the immediate area. So I'm looking to hear from you. I've told you a fair amount. And I told you about the car. You know? About what now, we well, know. Can I ask you answer your question? I'm looking to know what charges I'm facing. That's it. I told you. See, we keep going around and around with this. And that's why I told you. It's, it's, I'm not telling you it's an end of the world thing. We have to fact check. If someone got hurt, what would you want something? Because they drove a little reckless. All right? And your, one of your kids had to get, thank God they were okay, but just had to get checked out by a doctor. But we're okay. What would you at least want him to tell me if he knew something about that? I guess, I mean, like, anybody would want to know what the circumstances... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anybody would, want, to, to anybody would want to know the circumstances. If, you know, maybe shoes were on a little bit of a different foot here. If it was me, I would want to know the circumstances. Just, just mean? to type, I would want to know the circumstances. What, first of all, what happened and a little bit more information into why it happened. I guess that would be the normal thing, cause, the, like I said, that's what the that's what you want now, to know as a family. Now look, I'm going, right? I'm, I'm going. Okay. That's why I can understand. Let me see if, you know, it may have been something else to come into play, drugs, alcohol, or something like that. That would make sense. We we'll want to know that. Go from there, I guess. If it was me, I would want to know. Like, it's reasons for everything. I'm not going to immediately, just me being the type of person that I, I don't, I'm not a person that immediately just assumes things. Like, I can think. Like, I can be like, okay, well, just because somebody says this doesn't mean it's necessarily so or just because somebody said that doesn't mean it necessarily so I would want to know you know what I mean okay what was involved what came into play what was the circumstances I guess that's what, that's what I would the want bottom to. line is you want that person to tell me the truth right just tell me just be honest about what happened you know if they did something dumb made a mistake that's again not the end of the world I get shit went out I left she made me mad I, I left there and yeah, drove around and someone had to get checked out because I wasn't really paying attention not, on not, my phone, etc. Okay. okay. Now, do you see what that leads to, though? So you told us that you would want to know the circumstances. Right, right, right. Because there's a reason for everything. Exactly. So but what I'm saying is you see what that leads to. That's not, okay, you guys seem like you have a lot more understanding, Right. Me going through just the legal system, 
that leads to, oh, now you got this charge. So then now I got to fight that charge on top of the other charge. Now I'm already fighting charges I shouldn't even have. So it still makes it more like not seeing light at the end of the tunnel, not being able to get out of jail, not being able to fix anything with my, what if I lose my house? Still got mortgage to pay on it. Where does that leave my kids then? Like it's still, it's like a lot of questions that make people be like, every time you talk to the police, you always get fucked in the end, no matter what they tell you. No matter what they tell you. Well, finishing my thought. Yeah, I apologize. No, it's all good. We'll we'll let you talk. You want to know those shit. You want to know those circumstances. You said you want to know the reasons. There's a reason for everything. I agree with you 100%. That's something I would also want to know. The bottom line is, you were in Waukesha yesterday. And something happened in Waukesha yesterday. Right, and that's that's all I want to know. We want to know. You know what happened. Me meeting up with Erica again yeah. yeah, after you left. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You, you do. You do know what happened, and just like you said, we're here to find out what your reasoning was, what the circumstances was, so that we understand it. And what you want, if you turn the circumstances a little, all right. And if what you went through yesterday, um, you know some of the roles. Were reversed. What do you want someone to do if it was, you know, your family that was involved? What would you want someone to tell me? Now, I like how you just say what you said. Because that gave me a little bit more insight. Okay. Okay, and? It, it, may, it lets me know that... <laughs> No matter what I say to you guys, I'm not being detained. I definitely have something I'm being charged with. It's possible. But come we have, like I said, come I said this to you over and over again. We're here to collect facts. Come I can't just spit out random charges at you and say, yeah, no, this, I know, is I know, this is it, this I know is it. That. I know and that. I know, that. know you, that's what you're looking for. I wish I had no, an answer. No, 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 no. No, okay. That's not what I'm looking for. I just wanted to know if I was being charged with anything. That ain't, that ain't, I never once said, I want to know what exactly is the charge that I'm being charged with. I just wanted to know if I was being charged with something. That's it. And it started with the domestic questions that we asked you. So I'm being charged with a domestic. I, I can't tell you what we're being charged with right now because I don't know. Uh, we have to do that. that. We have to do that. That's back crazy. crazy. Remember, I got to I'm, I'm not saying you guys do it, right. but I was going to say that would be crazy when you didn't even touch somebody. Mm-hmm. Look, that's that's the start of it. But we're hitting we're hitting a wall here because you're not telling us after. Like I said, you did the right thing. You did. Lesser men would have beat her up for that kind of thing. I'm not going to do that. But I know. <laughs> That's my I'm child's not, mother, not man. Not saying that you did. You, did, you took the high road. But then you left. What happened after you left? That's what you guys want to know. That's what determines what I'm being charged with. That's where we're at in this interview. We definitely got a clear picture about the domestic. We definitely got a clear picture about Erica's behaviors and her past recanting of things. And we got a clear picture about that. But yeah, at this point in the interview, that's where we're at as we try to paint the picture of the time that you came to watch a football game with Marcus or at Stephanie's house, if there was a Marcus. But from the time you arrived in Waukesha to the time that the cops came up to you on that porch, i got to paint that picture, and we're at that step now where you left her. You didn't do anything to her physically, but you left. Like I told you, it's not... It's not a complete and total end of the world thing here. <laughs> well, you keep doing that, but you know that makes me wonder. Because okay, what do you know that I don't know? No, but it, I keep doing that is because I know I know how this goes. I know how this goes. 
think they, they'll I say, and I'm not, no, listen, like I said, I'm not, it's no, no animosity or anything directed towards, you know, it's not that. I'm, I'm, I'm not flipping the script on you guys and, you know, trying to, you know, I didn't do nothing to, you know, for me to just, but I know, I'm just saying from my experience, I know, I know how this goes. I've been through this before where, like I said, she said blah, 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 then she turns right around and tells the DA, oh, I'm good, I'm good. I didn't, but I'm still fighting the charges. How am I still fighting charges when she just, how? It's, it's like, that's why I say, even, right, when, you, like even when you tell, that. wait, 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 even when you tell people, look, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. Per day. Maybe and they go, and they go, oh, okay, well, we're going to take all this into consideration, and then you get where you're going, or to the county to get booked in, and you got 55 charges, and you like, so I just sat up there and had confidence in you guys to talk to you guys and let you know what's, what was going on just for you guys to still throw all these charges on me? Yeah, maybe that's, that's, that's not right. System. Yeah, that's but not that's, that's not right, though. Sure. I, feel, I, I, feel, I feel like if you're going to charge somebody with something, at least, let, at least let it be made sure that that's what happened. Not just saying, oh, well, such and such said you did this. Such and such said you punched her in the face. Such and such said you choked her out or something and then they go oh well we're going to take you to jail and it's like okay what the hell mm-hmm. here's the thing Darrell. we're not we're not really talking about her anymore though you keep spinning back to her because that's when, how it initially when, came to me when you laugh that you heard yeah and we talked about that we got into that okay now when you left you know where were you going again Weren't walking. You see, you see how it make me feel like y'all already know what y'all want to do. Oh, you wasn't doing this. You wasn't doing this. You wasn't doing that. Okay, well, if you, if you know all this, then why do we have to talk? Because there's a big, broadly painted picture in all this. All right, a lot of it I don't know anything about. Right. And the reason is a lot of those details, I, we, believe you can fill in. All right? And that's why I'm asking you about, you know, your family. We talked about going to church. I go. You said you go. And that's why, to me, you know, being truthful to the best extent possible is how I try to live. Yeah, you said, oh, there were some things you knew last night. I don't know that you totally, totally told me. Yeah, but I've explained why. Part of it, we couldn't find her. There's a lot going on there. Okay? Some other people called some in. Okay? You know, you had said you weren't driving, but, you know, he had that thing with your blood last night. Yeah, I'm not worried worried about that. Well, the reason we had that, the reason we had that is because there were some people that were able to say, yeah, we saw him driving, we saw this guy leave this area, and... Saw me, though. Saw That's that's me. Finished. He seemed all pissed off about something, and he, he seemed a bit reckless on a bit on the reckless side. So then they they check you to make sure you don't got you didn't have any alcohol in your blood. You didn't seem high. You didn't seem messed up to me. Yeah, no, no, I knew I you wasn't. Know, you, hey, right. You could have taken right. Yeah, well, I think I, right. I told you it was the boss's call. Yeah, I, well that I so understand. Where I'm, but y'all y'all would have knew. Y'all probably could. Like sometimes do y'all even say, I know you. Hey boss, I know I have to do this. So I'm gonna stop you there. I know, but this dude don't seem like. Stop a second, right there. You know what I mean. So where I'm going with this is that, you know, that's where I'm coming back. You know, to the importance of truthful and not withholding. I think there, there's things you know that you're not telling me. I'm just asking you to do the right thing because, you know, say to your kids, yourself, your mom. Do the right that thing I and understand. tell me what's going on. That I understand. The same way you'd want him to tell me if he'd been involved in time. This and this is what I'm saying. I don't have a problem with that, but it's 
not but not when it's not going to benefit me because I know just like you just said you think that I know stuff that I'm not saying I know that y'all know stuff y'all not saying it's, it's working both ways how can, yeah, yeah so how can y'all hold withhold information but I'm supposed to just be like I'm supposed to bear my soul but y'all can just be like oh okay well we got what we want to charge them with this I'm not going to let y'all do that to me not, not unfairly so how do we go about it fairly in your eyes how do we get you to, to I mean, fill in all the gaps that we're looking for fairly would be a fair way to get the did, truth out did you did anybody even did she tell anybody that I touched her not yesterday you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. not yesterday what does that even mean I haven't even seen her in a month I mean, she talked about the previous cases and stuff. The open case. Mm -hmm. She talked about... The open sure case doesn't have started? anything to do with this, though. Mm -hmm. And even with the open case, I didn't do anything. But you met her yesterday. We already... You already Why are we going back to whether she said you touched her? No, I'm just you saying I wanted to know, like, that. because that's obviously a big part of what's going on because y'all wouldn't be asking me about what's going on with her if she didn't have some yeah, role. Part of it. You, you trying yeah, to see what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, explain that. Well, if I did, if confirmation was given that I didn't touch her and do all that, I shouldn't even be facing the domestic violence. If she's saying, okay, we have an open case mm -hmm. for a, a situation that happened. Yesterday, though, it was nothing physical. He, nothing physical, but there was an argument. Okay, you be telling her I'm not finna hang out with you, I'm finna leave if you don't have the money and trying to leave. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't constitute, with, with it, that's not uh, uh, domestic violence. I thought domestic that. violence is and that's why we somebody, one of the parties, mm -hmm. me or her, have to physically put our hands or, 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 you know, like a push or like a choke or like a kick or a grab or like you know I grabbed her up or something like that or she grabbed me or then I can see I can see people saying okay it's a domestic violence because y'all was in a heated argument mm -hmm. and you grabbed her or you choked her or you slapped her or you punched her or kicked her or pushed her down or, yep. and and we talked about and that. then that would be like yeah that's and I told you that she didn't excuse you any of that stuff yesterday right but yeah. we're beyond that yeah. Be right back, girl. Okay, no problem. No problem. Like I said, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to be all uh, crazy, but we, it's just like we know it's not first know, I, I know. Take care of yourself. I listen, get it. I know that y'all know more than what y'all telling me, man. And it's like, why would I let y'all throw a charge charges on me that I shouldn't even have? And that's only gonna make my situation that I'm already dealing with worse. So I know it's self preservation. I get it. I know. I don't take it personally. Yeah, I'm not. And it, like and it's like my whole life is being taken away from me and people just want me to just be like yeah um, I'm going to cooperate 100% with everything and just and in the end I'm the one to get everything piled up on me and I know it's going to be a lot of shit that I ain't even fucking do and I'm going to have to still have to go through the process of it not being able to having to sit in jail man mm -hmm. while I could lose everything that I got out there. And it's like, how, how, like, why would I do that to myself? Why? Well, I get that argument. I get the self preservation. And nobody's telling me, I nobody's like telling me argument. anything. You okay, you looking at this. We're or not, not even, not even the actual, but okay, this is, you know, looking at some pretty serious stuff. You know, you need to, or, what do you constitute serious? Lots of people constitute Prison. serious. <laughs> That's serious. Okay. Years so, out of your life that you can't never get back. No, I know that. That's serious. Not a lot of people go to prison over domestic violence issues. You know what I mean? They do some jail. I shouldn't even have. Right. Ben, I did not touch this woman, man. And I, I believe I did not touch this woman. 
I believe you, but we're past that point. We came, we got those answers that we were I looking for. I love this one, and I'm a not murder man. Right. And we got, we got those answers. You explained that. We got a great picture. We've been talking for hours about, you know, I get it. You, you love her, but you get a little torn because every once in a while she says something dumb when she's on the bottle. So... You sound like you sound, I mean, no, listen, you sound like somebody got hurt. Yeah, there was something that happened. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying this this is like nobody said this last night and I'm like, that's what got me like, what the hell? So it was more that we don't mm-hmm. we don't talking. magically know everything, especially us. I, like I told you last time, I'm not lying to you when I tell you, look at me, do I look like I, I'm thirty one years old. Somebody got hurt, man. I don't I don't run the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I've been doing this for a while, but I'm Somebody not a secret hurt. bet. Somebody got hurt. Well, like I said, well, like you were saying, like, minor stuff. It's not end of the world stuff. But there were some people that were hurt. Right, that's what I was trying to figure out. Mm-hmm. And people are saying, I'm the cause. Right? Well, I'm trying to figure that out. Do you think people would be saying that to you? No, they shouldn't be. <laughs> they shouldn't be. I didn't hurt anybody. That's and that was the whole thing. Not my baby's mom. Mm-hmm. Not anybody else. That wasn't why I was out here. But you were just trying to watch back the game with some that's friends, it. hang that's out with some it. new chicks. That's it, man. Mm-hmm. That's it. But somehow you got drawn drawn I, away from that. I didn't, you know what I mean? And you ended my, up my talking mom, to her. My baby's mom. Mm-hmm. And when, but, but like I said, like. Even with her, like, I know how to be like, I'm out. I'm out. Because I, I, I see where this is headed. I'm not. She will drive anybody to that point, especially if we had to be in Milwaukee, mm-hmm. where it's a little bit more. The police come if they come, they don't if they don't. Sometimes a minor shit like that, they just be like, shh. Somebody bleeding and somebody need to go to the hospital? Okay. Y'all was arguing and he told you to leave? Why you just didn't leave? Now if we do got to come, you know, one of those type of deals because it could just be simple for one of you guys to vacate. Right. You know, it's usually, it's usually that. And like I said, the majority of the time she does that. I'm gonna make sure you can't see your daughter. I get you locked up. You know you gotta open. She uses that. Mm-hmm. She uses it, and I know it's only when she's drinking. It's only when she's drinking. That's the only time. That's the only time. But it's like, yo, don't take my life away from me. Don't do that to me. When you know who I am. When you know what stage in my life I'm getting too old, to, I can't do this no more, dude. I already got health problems. My mama's diabetic, got health problems. Anything can happen. And it's just like, don't put me in a position to where I can't do anything to be a man and help my family mm-hmm. and take care of my children because you're mad or you feel like you ain't messing with me or you don't want to meet up with me or you don't want to do something with me. Well, fucker, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, come on, man, domestic violence with yelling. It's weak, but like we were, we were talking about the weed laws. Remember I said, there's a lot of reasonable guys out there that are just gonna fucking toss it down the drain, you know, and move on. Um, Especially if it's not like you don't right. got pounds. But you might, but you might get those guys that are vacuuming up the shape off their floorboards. And taking you over that way. Same thing with the domestics. What you're thinking of and what your your definition, your personal definition of what constitutes a domestic violence is the physical, the, the, the there are provisions within the law, it's weak, but the law says that yeah, if anything could be perceived as threatening, I mean it's about the person's perception. That's probably why they ended up holding those charges. You know, and, and I can't speak from I don't work from Milwaukee County. You know you know Milwaukee County well enough that like you said, they're swamped. One judge has got 400 cases backlogged. Nobody's getting their trials, you know, at the speedy time. Like, 
that might just be a problem with them. I haven't experienced that out here, but this is a lot of shot county, right? Like I was explaining last night, stuff goes down different here, you know, and whether it's a good thing, you know, because we have enough officers to pay attention to little little calls, whereas like in Milwaukee, you don't got time for that because there's, you know, three shootings a night. Right. There's good things, and then there's bad things. Like, my boss uh, wants me to check for OWI even though I'm talking to you. No, you know, I mean, like I said last night, yeah, I smell the weed on you, but, you know what I mean, you're talking normal, you're, you know what I mean? So, sometimes dumb stuff happens out here, too, where they're just being too overzealous. So, so I get where you're coming from yeah. with that stuff. Now, look. My mom's vehicle. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Is it impounded? It's in Waukesha. We should be able to get it. Uh, eventually, yeah, she'll be able to get it. We can release it to her. It's her vehicle. I thought you said she couldn't drive, though. She can't. Okay, but look, she would have somebody to help her. No, I was just saying, will right. she be able? Yeah, she'd be able to get it back eventually. Yeah. Or not even get it back. Will she be able to? Well, yeah, I guess get it back. Mm-hmm. So is it impounder? Is it evidence? Is it at a tow lot? Is it? Um, I believe. I mean, that's that's not against the investigation to tell me that, is it? No, it's yeah, it's in Waukesha right now. It's currently in police custody. I don't know if it's at a tow yard in police custody or if it's at. And they notify her. Yeah, we we'll talked to her. We we'll talked to her. So she should be able. To... Sound like it's more going on than just me and Erica. I think it's related to you and Erica. I think you and Erica. I think Erica precipitated the event. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, my thing. My thing. Like I said, man, y'all been straight up with me. I'm not trying. My thing is. My only thing is like. <laughs> I don't. I just want her to be honest about her part. Mm-hmm. Don't make it seem like. I came out here to, to to beat you up or to fight you or to do anything aggressive to you because if that's if that was the case, it would have been people would have been out there like, yo, these guys out here beating up this girl <laughs> in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Get his ass up out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? It would have been that if that was oh, I'm intending to come be Billy Badass, blah blah blah. And she know that's she know that's not even me. Well, does it make you feel better to know that she she's getting reinterviewed too? I know you want her to tell the truth, just like we it does started talking to you last night and we came back. Well, she's also gonna do it. It's uh, Detective Guth and Detective Barrett, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I know they talked to her yesterday. They were gonna go back and talk to her again today, knowing that we know now. That's why my partner and I gotta make those phone calls. This is what he's saying. This is what she is saying. But again, that's only part of what happened yesterday. So, yeah. So this is my thing between me and you, man. What if it wasn't me driving? What if it wasn't you? What if it was my mom's? True. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't driving. Mm-hmm. What if it was you? What if it wasn't me? Mm-hmm. Who else would it be? That's what I'm. That's what I'm asking. Not not asking you who else would it be. Right. I'm just asking. What if I knew? Mm-hmm. Would I be asked to give that information? Well, like I said, we're here together. Truth. So if somebody else was driving that car, yeah, I would want to know who that car is so we go talk to that person. But a huge part of that is going to be your honesty with it. Right, right, right. Now I was just asking. Because you just asking. You know, you know, 
you, you've already figured out you're not a, you're not an idiot. You're not a dumb man. You're a smart guy. Right. I I see that. You know that we've been working on this, and you know that we're gearing gearing for the honesty portion of it. Yes, sir. And my partner already explained that you know he's not. We're not looking at obstruction or getting in trouble for that. You know what I mean? Because yeah, okay, you have done some stuff. Not the end of the world. People fit on it. I get it because it's self-preservation. Like you said, you don't want to make I more just, trouble for yourself. My, my thing is, I just don't want to get charged with something that I didn't do. Now, with something that I did do, mm-hmm. dead to rights, I'm willing to be like, I did that. I just don't want to be charged with something that I didn't do. Because that's what they always do. And they make you either pay your way out or fight your way out of a situation that you never should have had. I don't think that that part of it is fair. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, that's if you got to spend money, that's money spent that you never, you might have something else that you had to do. That's gone. Or you may have to do something else that you might, and it, you know what I mean? It's just, the situation is crazy because it's like, you gotta, it's either what, in Milwaukee, mm-hmm. what I've seen all the time, it's either, either where you see some guys, like, for example, I know a friend and somebody was like, uh, his girl, I like guess, oh, he stole my gun, he stole my firearm. No proof of it, no nothing. He gets thrown in jail and they make him she, oh yeah, well, well, well no, well I don't think it was him that did it now. But y'all was just fighting and you said it was him that do it, gave them the guy's name and all that, they came and arrested him. But then they ended up not processing the charge, but he was charged with the death of the uh, firearm. Mm-hmm. Already being a felon. And it's like, that carried 10 years. Just, That's just because somebody said and then went back and said, oh, well, what? I hear you love. You know what I'm saying? You don't want, so you I don't had to go get, sit up in here for that? Right. You don't want to get hemmed up for something you did not do. That's all I'm saying. And, and I know I'm, I'm not your first police contact. It's the first time we've talked. You don't got to trust me. I understand the natural distrust. Um, I mean, at least I hope, whether you trust me or not, I hope you at least, I'm trying to respect you, and I, and I hope that so that, that can be mutual, even if we don't necessarily trust. Trust me when I say I don't want to charge you with anything you didn't do. That's all That's I'm saying. Fact. That's all I'm saying. That's a fact. Because they do that a lot, and they'd be like, um, the guy when I when I had this domestic with Erica, mm-hmm. that's about to get dismissed. The guy was saying the same thing. Oh, well, we're just trying to, and when when I get to county, I have. So many charges, like everything. I had charge after charge after charge after charge after charge. And I'm like, where did all these charges come from? If she's gonna, if she's gonna tell them, I was drunk, and mad, and I just said this and that, which she did. So, why did y'all charge me with all these charges? Seems like poor police work. Yeah, and it's like, what in the hell did I get charged with all this for? <laughs> if the person is basically saying it was BS, and I'm not gonna cooperate with no thing. She's not. I'm not coming to courts. I'm not doing any of this, which means they're gonna have to dismiss the case. But it's just a hassle of having to go through. That's money spent that I can't get back. That's time in jail spent that I can't get back. I had to sit all that time. I had to lose some stuff. Just because just because somebody said something. Not, not okay, we caught this dude in the act. We can prove that he did this. We can prove that he did that. Just some, oh, I was drunk and angry. Sometimes, though, you know, even if we can prove, and you kind of alluded to this where you understand it, is sometimes we can prove something, but that doesn't help us understand 
the why or those circumstances or the reasons. You know what I mean? And that's why people get asked to, to tell us those things. That way there is a fuller understanding of those reasons. And it's not just blindly, this guy did it, and let's assume the worst about him. Yeah, because that's what, that's what I felt like just now. Mm-hmm. It's like when he, now is, I'm starting to get a clear picture. Like, okay, so somebody obviously got hurt. Somebody somewhere in this whole situation got hurt. Mm-hmm. That's on me. That's how he had me making it seem like it's on me. That is going to lead to a charge. Is it on you? No. That's what I'm trying to say. But the charge, even the assumption of even making somebody have to pay or fight their way out of it is still having to go do it. Right. On top of what I already got in Milwaukee. So it's like, boom, boom. I'm already facing prison time here. I'm already... And now I'm facing more prison time. On top of already facing prison time. At my age, it's a lot to handle. Knowing what I got out there. 100%. You know what I mean? Knowing that, I'm looking at not... It's no guarantee you're even going to see tomorrow. So, like, who would want to have their last moments in a place like this or in a cell somewhere or in a jail somewhere and you got beautiful girls out there that you want to see grow up? My sister never got a chance to see her kids grow up because she passed away. Sure. You know, so it's like, it's just daunting because it's just like, oh, my God, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hurtful. So you, you brought that up where you don't want to see anybody. Where are those? I'll show you in a minute. Oh, okay. You don't want to um, see anybody get hurt. Or, sorry, you don't want to see yeah, anybody yeah. get charged for something they didn't do. But you already brought up, too, that if somebody did something, that they should be held accountable for it. And that you're willing to accept responsibility. What's going on? With if it's Can I show you something? You look like you got to film me or something. No, no, I'm not filming. Are hey, you? That's you? Nah, I ain't got no, um, it looked like whoever. It looked like Greg. Right there. I can see your face. Nah, that's not me. That's not you. That's not me. That's not you. No, I don't. I Darrell. That's a Darrell. <laughs> that's you. That's you, Darrell. Why you say it like that, man? Because we talked about the honesty piece. You keep telling me that you you tell you tell the truth when you did do something. You Here's take responsibility when you do do something. Here's your mom's car again. Here's your mama's car. Mom's car again. To a child, which I know you care a lot about, children. Next to a child comes on my yeah. brain. Uh-huh. It's your mom's car. Yeah, I was just asking him about my. Uh, about That's your mom's car that. that we took the key for from you. So, you can't tell me at this point I'm playing any games anymore. No. I didn't. I didn't uh, say you was playing games from the get go. Well, you felt like last night. Totally no, straight. last night I felt like it wasn't you know, as it wasn't as fluid more. as you wanted. No, it wasn't the flu. It was just it wasn't I as knew, much as I wanted. I knew that y'all knew more than what y'all was saying, and I felt like last night with that whole you know them coming in the way they did, and cause I'm sitting there in the thing and I'm watching them walk past like what in the hell, and seeing that. I just felt like, okay, y'all already know wh- what y'all want to do, which y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just want, I didn't know what y'all want. It just seemed like y'all knew more than what y'all was going to tell me. It was more so like a, I felt like I was being railroaded to be like, okay, tell me this, but we already know over here what we going to do. We already know 
what we're going to do right here. We just want you to tell them yourself and say you did this and did that so we can already justify what we already want to do. And it's like, I don't feel like that's fair. What time did you come out here with the car? What time did you head out from Milwaukee to Waukesha? I don't want to talk, man. I don't want to talk if, if I'm not getting no, I'm not getting nothing. I just showed you three pictures. Okay, man. you showed me pictures, but you're not telling me what I'm facing. You know what you're facing. I don't. That's the whole. You that's drove why down I a street. Asking. You still, you drove down a parade route. You got a pretty good idea what you're facing. You see what I'm saying? So now this is more stuff coming out, man. Yep. We, were, we told you we were looking for that explanation. And that's you. Uh, and all I'm saying is, look, deal. all somebody got to do is just tell me what I'm facing. I'll tell you guys whatever you want to know. Okay, I is. said that three, four there times. There it is. And it's like, yo. So, Darrell, what were you thinking when you went driving, driving through this parade? What am I facing? That's all I want to know. I don't have you no got, problem talking with you, you guys. Got people, you got people injured that had to go to the hospital. So, they're saying I, I injured somebody. Or you're saying I you injured did. somebody. Yeah. So, I'm looking at what? Hurt. Reckless endangerment? The very least, yeah. The very least. People got hurt. That's reckless in danger. I don't know exactly what they're going to classify it. Yeah, people have legs broken. Endangerment's where you may have hurt somebody by your actions. You did hurt somebody by your actions. So what am I being charged with? That's what I'm trying to say. I don't say. know exactly yet. You're still working that out? That's I don't know all about. of the details. You're not going to get that out of me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm explaining to you. You're driving down there. You're, you're looking at people got hurt. People got some broken legs. And y'all saying that's me. I know that's you. That's How do you know that's you? Because I can recognize you. I can tell it's you. Yeah. And that's your mom's car. That you had the key for. I can ID you. Darrell. I'm just asking you to be honest about it. Be honest about what I'm facing. I'm what do you honest, think you're I facing? I don't. I don't what do you think you're facing? What do you think hypothetically? I mean, you've been through this gamut before. Right, and y'all knew I was getting charged with this from day one, so why y'all couldn't just charge me and take me to county jail where y'all was going to take me, man? We because that Because yes, you wanted me to tell them myself. That's, that's basically what yesterday. y'all wanted me to do. You told us that there was reasons complete. for everything. No, I'm saying, but, and I'm not I'm trying to piss y'all still, I'm not tripping with y'all, because y'all been straight up, so I'm not, I'm not, but I'm saying, come yeah, on, sure. dude, if y'all knew this already, why y'all just didn't take me to, why y'all just didn't do what y'all had to do? Here's, here's where you're at right now. And it's like, you take me through the runway to, to get me to do something that y'all already... Can I speak? Here's where you're at. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you straight. Here's where you're at. One of two people did this. And I mean that from a human perspective. There's the God-fearing Christian who loves his kids and his mom that you say you are. And I want to believe you are. And in many ways, you've presented yourself as who went out got in a fight with his girl, argument, whatever you want to call it, and went and, and just done screwed up. Or there's the malicious guy. The malicious guy who who's lied to me about his love for God, who's lied to me about his love for his mother, who's lied to me about his love no, for don't his spin children. It. Don't spin it, man. It's one of those two people, man. It's, I'm just saying, don't what spin is it. it then? Don't spin it, man, because I'm not... Which one are you? I'm not going to spin it. Dude. Which guy are you? I'm the God-fearing guy that you've been talking to since last night. Man. Tell me the truth about and you know that. Down and you know that. Then tell and me you know the truth that. about driving down there. Tell road. me what I'm facing. I've just told you some of what you're facing. Some. Reckless endangerment. That's almost like saying I killed somebody. No, you want me to give you the entire case without you don't, giving you anything. You don't have to. No, I'm not, not going to do that. That's not I'm what not I'm asking. That. That's not what I'm asking. Yes, you are. No, no I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about perspective. Not Remember when I talk to you about see. perspective? True somewhere in the middle, all that? Yeah. That's how yeah. I see what you're saying. You me. got me doing all this and that, but y'all sit up here and come in here. Well, not, I'm not blaming it on you guys. I'm not. But y'all sit up in here. The police do this every single time. Even when you try to be, look. Show you me that guy. You, you, try to, you try to be straight up with them. You try to tell them the truth. You try to do all this and that, and they still... Railroad you. You're not Every trying to tell me the truth. Every single time. You're not trying to tell me the truth. It, it, not it's anymore. Not, it's not even, no, it, it don't got nothing to do with that because I just told you I don't have a problem with telling you everything you want to know. I just wanted to you have an idea. I, I just wanted to have an idea. 
That's all I said last night. You know what I want to know. And, I, know and that's happened. all I said today. You know what happens. So okay, what am I being charged with? What are y'all going to charge me? What are y'all going to recommend? What are y'all going to do? Because at the end of the day, I'm still, I'm still, this is why I feel the way I feel. I already have a lot of open cases. I'm already looking at prison time from the shit in Milwaukee that I've been going through for almost two years now. That was almost done. Then I got this situation with Erica in Milwaukee that's going to end up being this This will probably go before a judge, right? What do you want him to think? I mean, I don't, it's nothing I can have him think because y'all already basically said, okay, this is what happened. We just want you to tell us this, that this is what happened so we can just charge you with this, which, which we're going to charge you with. Are you the good guy way. that's screwed up or the evil guy that doesn't care? Oh, I definitely care. Okay, I definitely care. Truth. I definitely care. Yeah, Why would you try to scare me like that? Just because yeah, I don't yeah. want to tell you something. Now I don't care. Now I'm the malicious guy. Now I'm this, now I'm that. Just because I don't want to talk. What other option? You know the truth. We've been talking for a couple Y'all apparently know the truth too. Yeah, apparently. You when we came in, it was to get yeah, your you knew perspective this last on your side. Night. Come on, Kirk. You knew this last night, man. This was, you knew this you last night. Yes, I told you. That. And you could have been like, yo. Some people got hurt. We want to know what happened then. I didn't know enough details last night. There were people out there all night. All night. Processing a scene. The entire night. Until about, I don't know, noon today. Oh, man. Y'all knew, knew, knew all this, man. I didn't know everything. I'm telling you. You can believe me if you want, but I, I got no I, reason to lie. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying you're lying. It was complete I'm, chaos. I'm not saying you're lying. So that's what took so long. I'm not. But you but know also, how it got to be that but way. So also, how it got see, to be I can't even get a word in. Because we're going round and around okay, and around and around. We're just going to keep going around and around here. And, and you're acting like you don't... I mean, you're acting like you don't know what these are. And, and you you, no, you're making it seem like I don't care. Like I'm just this heartless type of person, dude. Well, if you I that even, way. Okay, that's fine. But look at my position. I've been in here for 24 hours. I haven't even t gotten a shower, good sleep. My shoulders fucked up. I haven't even got a phone call to even notify anybody, talk to my family whatsoever, not one time. I'm disappointed, Darrell. I'm disappointed, too, because you lied to me, Kurt. Because you lied to me. You talked about what Nothing, you want listen, him to do with listen, one of your kids. And no, did not just say, I don't have any problem telling you what happened the only thing i'm saying is i feel like you were trying to railroad me by how you went about it that's all i'm saying that's it i'm not saying okay we've I'm discussed saying, that for about an hour so tell me what you, happened when you, you drove what I'm off saying? Uh, we're, we're not going to make any more progress on that i get i get you're pissed about that and i'm not going to fault you for it i'm not going to tell you not to be mad I'm not going to tell you not to feel like, man, that, that was bullshit, but Carp, why did you do that? If that's the way you feel, gotcha. It's okay. I'm not going to tell you you can't. I'm not going to sit here and tell you how you should or should not feel about how I went about presenting things last night. Okay? But what I've confronted you with and told you today is your mom's car is out here. I've now shown it to you. You know, you want me to, you know... Tell you all these things. No. Hold no. on. But what I told you from the start, and I did tell you this, is that part of it's a give and take. There's things I'll tell you, but I can't just tell you everything. We've shown you pictures. All right. We talked about if the roles were reversed, what you want my partner Ben yes. to do. Yeah, you did say that. We talked about that. What would you want it to do if it was your kid with the broken leg? And look, so a kid I want got to hurt? believe a lot of people did. A lot of people got hurt. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. They really were there. No, I'm saying a lot of people got hurt. Yeah, there's people hurt, man. Like that? Broken legs and stuff like I told you. Concussions hit their head. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see that happen to nobody, dude. I don't believe you would either. Yeah, but you and I'm just not saying it's on purpose. You just thought, you just thought, 
yo, this dude is heartless. So tell us otherwise. You I didn't I'm say that. I'm asking like, you fuck, what man, do you like, want it to be perceived as. Tell us how it is then. We're wrong, and it's not heartless. Tell us what, what it was. I'm here to listen if it's something different. I'm sitting here. I haven't walked out. Come on, heart. Come on. Y'all know. Y'all know. Listen, man. Y'all know. Y'all know. If I did not talk to that woman, I would never, ever be sitting right here talking to y'all right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not blaming her. Like I told you, I'm not going to demonize that woman. She's a good woman when she's not drinking. It's not about her anymore, Drew. I know. But and I, I believe that she wouldn't be in this position if you hadn't talked to her. I, I believe, believe that. You didn't have to put the picture down. You didn't have to. The stroller. That's a stroller. Yeah. So a kid got hurt. Yeah. A kid. Yeah. Bad. You said a lot of people got hurt. Checked out. Yeah. A lot of people got hurt. To I'm, me, it's a pretty good injury if if a doctor's got to check you out or you got a broken leg. Yeah. So what do you call my shoulder? <laughs> I'm just making a joke, but yeah. I don't know. Well, I want to believe you're the man you say you are, girl. But I, I, I'm not laughing because there's there's nothing funny about this. No, I was just saying. No, it's not. It's never been that. Dude, I don't take my life as a joke. I don't. I don't take my life as no joke. I was just making a joke about my shoulder when you just said, you know, if it's mm -hmm. a serious injury, if you got to get looked out. And I was just saying, I had to get looked out, but they didn't say it was serious. They treated it like, up. Let's say spend the night. You're the guy in cuffs, so. Well, you said that part, not me. No, I'm just saying that's how they, not how you acted, that's how they were acting. It was pretty much like, oh, well, it's nothing broken. Well, why do I keep having this thriving, burning pain if there's nothing wrong? Where were you going, Darrell? Help us understand something. I can do that. I just want to understand what's... So these parents I know wanna why their kid got hurt just the way you want to know why your kid got hurt. I want to understand what I'm looking at. That's it. A reckless endangerment. Yeah, that's something you're looking at, right? It's because some people got hurt. Yeah, people got hurt. Now, I just want to say this. You know that when you said it wasn't the end of the world type thing. Because nothing's the end of the world. It is. Let me tell you why. Not when you have, not when you have God in your life. It's not. It, it is because. <laughs> that's what I believe anyway. I, I believe that too, but you don't want to have God in your life when you're sitting in prison. Can't see your family. Can't see nobody. What, what does it matter then? Because you're you not, know what I'm trying to say? You're not, like, you're not put on this earth, Darrell, to live glory here. You're put on this earth to obey, do what's right, be true to your Lord and Savior, so you live in the promised land in your next life. So I'm not saying, if you're talking about prison, I'm not saying that's where anyone wants to be. I'll acknowledge that. Right? But part of being here is about doing the right thing so you can be righteous for eternity, right? That's what they tell us, right? That's what they tell us, absolutely. Right? Do you believe that? I do. So I do, do I. And you know so why, why, I that's believe, why I'm saying why I believe that so much. World. Why I believe that so much is if you would have known everything that I've been through in life just to even be sitting here like I, there's probably a lot of times where I, I probably shouldn't even be here I don't tell you haven't had it easy I'm not going to sit here and tell you you have it's a lot of times where I'm not going to pretend to understand what you've been through yeah yeah absolutely it's man I've I've made a lot of mistakes. You 
know, a lot of mistakes. And, you know, one one thing I would never intentionally do is hurt anyone. Okay? Not intentionally. Okay? I would never, never hurt anyone. Okay? Not Especially not my family, kids, anything like that. Not my child's mother, anything. That's, that's not how I was raised. That's not who I am. To intentionally cause hurt, never. Defending myself, is something totally different. Because I will defend myself to the fullest. Mm -hmm. But it's not... That's not who I am to intentionally hurt people or try to hurt people. It's not my intention. It's not. And, and I made a lot of mistakes, man. Just in life in general, man. I just feel like <laughs> almost 40 years old and I'm still going through case after case after case. It's almost enough to just be like the hell with it, man. The hell with it. Let me just let me fucking go, man. You know what I mean? Just the more and more shit that pile up, you know, it's just like, what the fuck do I have to live for? To sit in prison? It's nothing for me to. It's over for me. It's over. I go to jail right now, I go to prison right now, at my age. There's no guarantee how long I'm gonna have to be in prison. There's no guarantee if I ever see my mama again, cause she's getting up there. You know, when you get in your sixties. <laughs> you know, not saying, you know, she ain't gonna keep ticking, but you never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. So that is is that is is my children. My, well, my daughter already going through a situation. And then my baby girl, you know, the situation with her. You know, it, I know, man. I, I know. If I had to sit in jail right now, my life is over. I know. I know it is. I know y'all probably just think, oh, he's just talking. It's over. And it's just it's crazy, man. That you can still do my life has to make it better. Even like this, when, when all I want to do is just love somebody and just for them to love me back, you know. I lose my life. Even if you're there, you can still do things to make life better. Nah. <laughs> you can yeah. have peace within and, and with God. Nah. You don't believe you can? Why I, not? I um I used to think that when I was a lot stronger than what I am, you know, because my mom used to always tell me, "You have my strength." You know, like since my sister passed away, but she was more like my father. And I'm more like my mother. Mm -hmm. And she would always tell me, you know, you, you got my strength. You're strong. You're strong. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing that you would go through that you can't get through because you have my strength. But it's like, and now getting to the age, you know, I'm 40 years old, man. But, like, you know, I struggle with a lot of times feeling like I'm a failure because, you know, I haven't been the father that I want to be and that I know that I can be so it makes me feel like I'm, I'm failing or I failed a lot and I, you know I get depressed about that and then now with this it's like my mom would be so disappointed just even just having to deal with this situation that you know, I just was out there hugging and kissing her and 
letting her know, man, everything's everything's looking up. You know. And, you know, for somebody you love, man, I just couldn't let it go, man. I just, I love that woman so much, man, that... Erica? Yeah, it's nothing that I wouldn't do, man, just to see her smile and for us to be happy, man. And it just felt like... <laughs> Just threw my life away, man, trying to love somebody. I don't even have nothing to live for, man. I'm 40 years old, and I don't got nothing to show for it. You got three great kids. Yeah, they'll probably never see me again. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's ways to communicate. There's still ways to communicate around right? to talk to your daughter on a home way. Mm hmm So you wouldn't understand. I don't. You ever have to talk to your mom through the phone and you can't hug her, kiss her, and she's going through health problems? Mm hmm It's not the same. It hurts, man. Seven-year-old daughter, seven daughter, man, that can't even understand what's going on. But for some reason, she understands dad's in jail all the time behind. She's to the point where she's like, when you going to get out of there? When you going to be able to? And then when I finally do, I don't get that time with her to really deal with her. And I've seen my sister died when it hurt when my niece was six years old. She ain't never even she don't really remember everything about her mom. Don't even really remember. And it's just like, man, I wish she would have some of those memories of, of her mom. So I see how much it affects her even just seeing my sister's pictures. It affects her. The worst the worst feeling in this world Y'all on the other side of the badge. Yeah. The worst feeling in the world. The worst. Not physical pain. Not none of that. Emotional pain. Yeah. You know, having to look at my kids on the screen. Not being able to enjoy those moments with them. Holidays coming up. Gone. Oh, God, I'm gonna be a fool, man. Life is over. I'm gonna get through it, Darrell. Life is over, man. It's over, man. Love. Just trying to love, man. Trying to do the right thing, and when it go left, I say, I you know, I just want to get away. I don't want to fight. I don't want to, you know, I don't want an escalation of the situation. You know, so I just, you know, you try to do what you feel is the best for you to do it, you know, at the time. Just vacate. Get away from that energy. And if it costs me my life, cost me my life, dude. And, uh, how can I even talk to my mom? I want to explain it to you.
to give you a minute. You can do that. No, I'm just trying to pay on the terms. I already tried. Something off the water. I'm trying to um come to grips with the fact that my life is over, man. Take a breather. Give you a minute. Someone will step out. Someone just got to stand in the doorway with you, but they won't talk to you. Okay. Keep it quiet wow, for you. Man, this is how my story ends, huh? We got in a minute. This is how my story ends. Wow. <laughs> wow. Getting out of prison, man. I don't know that. Don't know that. Reckless endangerment is what I'm being charged with. You know how much time that carries. That's what I'm being charged with, right? Yeah. More than one charge? Like you said, we don't know. Just, just take a moment to yourself, okay? Come on, Angie. I just gotta grab some of this stuff. This is, you don't have to, you can just kind of time yourself. You're just gonna, you just gotta hang out with you. We're just gonna take it for now, we'll bring it back. So just hang tight. We can try to get it back to you.
I've been here 24 hours, man, and they ain't had a chance to call nobody. You can't make phone calls or something? I don't know where your instructions are. Or what they told you or why they, why they, haven't, they haven't let you? Yeah, I'm like a whole day. Like, I know by law I'm at least supposed to get one phone call. Just to notify, you know, my family and let them know where I'm at, you know what I mean? They say where they was going. Snow? Yeah, no. Man, it's fucking freezing in here, man.
I gotta wait till they get back to use the bathroom. Oh yeah. Can I show you something? Yes, sir. Look. Where are your charges? Right here. Let's watch them. Hmm? Let's watch them for me. They <laughs> more incriminating stuff. I'm already like I'm about to lose my life, man. Can I ask a quick question? Hold on, watch it. I know. Why do you want me to watch it? it? Yes, I'll show you. I just want you to watch it. Watch it. Why, though? Watch it for me. Why, though? Because I want you to see what's in the video. Did you watch it? No. Will you? I just want to know why you want me to watch it. Because I want you to see what's on the video. Why don't you want to watch it? I just want to know why you want me to watch it. I, didn't say I just want you to I see what I told I you. Problem. You're not accepting the answer. I told you I want you to see what's in it. That's why I want you to watch it. You wanted information from us for sure. I want you to watch and see what's in it. Yeah, it's a good point. It's information sharing. Yes, I want yeah, you to watch like and see what's in it. It's like you like badgering me. Like a little but Darrell, little. you asked me a question. Okay? And this is more than what we had before. So I am showing you more. I'm asking you to watch it. Will you watch it? I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, I just watch. want to know what, what was the reasoning. Because I want you to see what's in it. I mean, I'm pretty much... It's not mad. complex. It's just, I, you know what I'm I, saying? It's just that I, I want you to see I what happens. I understand. Happens. I'm just saying I, I already know. I already have an idea from what you guys was saying earlier. But I want so you to like, see it. It's like watching my... Like, all I'm thinking about right now is here. We'll talk in a what a hell of a journey is being, but this right. is how my story ends. That's all I've been thinking about. Like, it's right. nothing that I want to... You look down? Why do you want me to see that car? Why? Because I think it's important. Why is it important? Is it to make... Like, what is it? Well, why do you want to look? I just, I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not trying to... Raise my voice at you, or I'm not. I'm just asking you why you don't want to look. I'm just saying, why do you want me to look? So you I think it's important. So you see what happened. You said you told you me what happened. Me. You already told me what happened, girl. Y'all told me what happened. I understand my life is over. I'm trying to come to grips with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to come to grips with the fact that this is how my story ends. From trying to love somebody, I never see my kids again. My mom. My relationship is gone for me. And it's like, what is it What is it to look at and where my life is for me to look at my life in? That's you, Darrell. Is it, is it looking at my life ending? These are the same photo. I'm just telling you that. Okay? I think it's important you see these. It's important for me to see my life in. It is important for you to see him. For my life team. Are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna keep going round and round about this or is there something you want to tell me? Nothing's gonna help me at this point. Everybody think everybody knows what was going on from the yard last night while I was getting investigated, while I was 
You know what I'm saying? There's a children right there. See those kids? See that little kid right there? You gonna look at it? Did you hurt? Emotionally? Don't do that. What bothers you? Bothers me that my life is over when I wasn't. I had no intentions of even being in a situation where anybody would get hurt, harmed by me or anybody else. It's not it's not my intentions. Never was my intentions to even meet up with her until until the money situation came up. And just meeting up with her then is the reason my life is over. Not gonna look at it. I'm hurt. It hurts me. Cause your life's over. Not these dudes, man. I'm not a monster, hurt. Right. I'm not a monster, man. I know y'all probably don't care. Y'all on the other side of the match, man. Y'all don't care. Man. Dude, what do your kids want you to do right now? What would your mom want you to do right now? Be at home. And no, about this. About this. I don't know. I didn't talk to anybody. I haven't talked to anybody. You know what they want you to do? No, I don't. Are you sorry about this? Enough screwing around, man. What would they want you to do? Man, just take me to jail, man. That's where I'm going anyway. Just take me to jail so I can, so I can end this shit. What are you telling me right now? That I know I'm finna go to jail for all this stuff. So, so what would they want you to do? Well, you get to jail to what? Yeah, take me to jail so I can deal with this shit. I'm gonna end this shit, one way or another. And what shit? I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not finna spend my life in prison. I will die first. So what are you telling me? I'm telling you my life is over. My life is over. This is how my story ends. Trying to be in love with somebody that didn't love me back. And it's crazy, man, because this is not the person I am, man. My, 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 intentions, my intentions for meeting up with her wasn't to harm her or anybody else. I, I promise you that. I'm not I'm not a person that I don't, I don't go out harming people. I don't go out robbing or taking anything from people. I don't break into people's stuff. I don't steal from people. I don't sell drugs. I don't beat people up. I don't uh, ride around with weapons or just walk around with guns and thinking I'm really badass. That I don't do that. That's that's not who I am. That's not the type of shit that I do. Right. Yeah, we. I get it. I get in situations. That. I get so what about situations this? Is because how I do you make, feel that people got I hurt? Make bad decisions. How That's do you why feel I that did. people got hurt? I don't wish for anybody to be hurt. So how does it make you anybody, feel that people not got one soul? I don't care who it is. No, you don't wish it. How does it make? I mean, I don't wish it, and I don't want it. it. It's, it's never. It's never my intention. Person not answering me. How anybody. do you feel that people did? Do you feel nothing? Do you feel sorry? Do you feel scary? That's what we're looking for. I feel like no matter how the situation plays out, 
my life is over. That's how I feel. Whether it's by the state sending, me, sending me to prison or something happening to me where I don't make it out, one or two things is going to happen. But I How do you I feel you, about those people getting hurt? I'll tell you one thing, though. My life is over. You listen to those women and children screaming because of what you did. And the only thing you feel is about yourself? No, I'm not trying to make anything about me. I'm just saying. You That's all you're talking about. Yeah, because you asked me a direct question about how I feel. So what, I'm supposed to not tell you how I feel? I how feel like my feel life is over. They're hurt. Does it bother you? It bothers me when anybody's hurt. Does it bothers bother me when you? anybody's hurt. Anybody. If I can, I can, I can be walking down the road and see somebody hurt. It would bother me. How did you end up driving down that road, Darrell? So what kind of question is that? It's very point forward. How did you end up? Why would I? Why would I? Why would I not give a fuck, dog? Why? How did you end up driving? Why would y'all even road? strike me as a person that don't give a fuck, dude? I didn't say that. How so my intentions was to hurt road? people? Are you gonna answer my question? I'm not asking man. Take me to jail, man. Yeah, I'm, that's where I'm going. Y'all gonna charge me with whatever y'all gonna charge me with, regardless of what I say. I'm not stupid. And y'all know I'm not stupid. Y'all gonna charge me with it, whatever, whatever I was getting charged with, I was getting recharged, charged with, regardless if I didn't talk to y'all or not. That's and y'all know that. That's disappointing. And I'm not disappointed that y'all sit up here and drug, not, not saying y'all, y'all got a job to do. I understand that. I understand that. I can't get mad at neither one of y'all for doing point. y'all job. But at the end of the day, y'all knew what I was getting charged with. Y'all knew all this last night and y'all drug me through the ringer to make me tell on myself to get all this time that I was going to be facing anyway when y'all could have just been like, look man, this is what's going on. Hey, you want to talk or you don't? We're going to take you to jail and you're going to have to do with it. I would have rather you just said, honestly, enough to do No, it's not. Because it never it never helps. It never helps. It never helps. Then you're not understanding the right source. Huh? Help us understand why. Okay, now that I can understand. So tell me why. I can understand, but it never helps to count. It's not like it's not like y'all gonna go to the DA and be like, well, this and this and this and this and this, and you, you know, this is what we think. When all they gonna do you're is gonna say, answer our questions, Darrell. When all they gonna do is say, well, we already know what we want to do anyway. You're gonna ra- answer our questions now, Darrell. Is it gonna help me? Leads us to the truth. Are you gonna answer? Is it gonna help? That's up to you to decide. How is it up to you? I'm not the one. I'm not the one that. Is you know the truth gonna help you? Go on here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm the one that's sitting here with everything. Listen, listen, man. My intention is not to ever hurt or harm a soul. That's not the type of person I am. That's not how I was raised. That's not how I was raised. I was not intending. To meet up with her, to harm her or anybody else. That is not who I, I was not drinking. Mm-hmm. I do smoke weed. Do I have mental uh, health issues? Yes, I do. Am I supposed to be on medication? Yes, I what am. What am supposed to be on? What am I supposed yeah, to be on? What are you supposed to be taking? Right. The last one I was taking that I remember the name is Paxil. But I was just on something else that I can't remember the name to. It was a T. Some type of T name. Why just stop? I stopped because I felt like I was in a better space mentally. That's without why, it? Without, with it. without it. So you almost felt like it didn't benefit. You were better not taking it than taking it? I was better off not taking it than taking it because when I smoke marijuana, it kind of gives me the same effect yeah. as medication. And my mom, who works in the health field, she would even tell me, that's why you smoke. Because I'm not, like I said, it's not like a, I smoke all day, every day, all day, every day, all day, every day. It's not that. But she noticed is that that's why you don't take your medication anymore is because you've been smoking. And I noticed the same effect. She would know she's been in the health field over 40 years. Sure. So she would know. What are you diagnosed with? Bipolar, manic depressive, schizophrenic, severely depressed, PTSD. And these, I, I used to get SSI checks, and 
I've been to, I've been in mental institutions. When's the last time? Uh, it's it's been a minute, but I can't tell you this. I should have never stopped taking my medication. And it definitely. Was so you're able to work. It's you definitely can hold employment. And yeah, I can hold it. Yeah, yeah. You can hold it. No, they, they, that doesn't change your disability. It did, well, I don't know how they do it in Walker Shaw. I don't, I don't know. But in Milwaukee, it doesn't change. It doesn't change anything. I had stopped getting benefits years ago, so it wasn't like I was still getting the benefits anyway. I wasn't still getting the check cut, but I still was getting my medication. That That is probably going to be a rest of my life type of thing, which I'm okay with. The nature of your schizophrenia. Yeah, I know it varies with people. What is it with you? Uh, which mean? I mean, what are the symptoms of yours? Uh, symptoms. Uh, hallucinations. What kind of hallucinations? Like just seeing stuff. Seeing things. Yeah. What about hearing things? Nah. Yeah, seeing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I don't know. I don't know the exact name of the med for that. Mm -hmm. I know the. Lithium, clonidine, trazodone, wellbutrin, all those. I wasn't all up on them at one time, obviously. The the, the lithium and clonidine I was on at the same time. One was for uh the 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 mood, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't be like this too much. And then the other one is was for um just to keep me like this. For even. When did you stop taking the medication? Probably like March. So it's something I've been I've been taking medication since I was eleven years old. Eleven years old. So that lets you know it's it's probably gonna be a for for life thing. Mm -hmm. Which I'm like I said, I'm okay with. You gonna talk to us about these? I'm going to jail for it, it's not gonna help. like at this point, man, I'm just I'm disgusted. With myself, I'm disgusted how everything went down because I didn't have, like I said, my intentions wasn't to meet up with her, to even hang out. It wasn't even to meet up with her to even spend any kind of time. It was just, yo, grab that, whatever. And that turned into... You're not gonna spend time with me. You're not gonna do this with me. You're not gonna hang out with me. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh well, I'm gonna do this. Is okay, well I'm out. You won't see me anymore then. I'm out. Yeah. One of the questions one of the detectives had for us. Um, Did I see the domestic? Yep, we'll get to that in a second. We're working a different aspect of the case is. Um, they want to know if you'd be willing to submit to a DNA swab to compare it to some things. Like so it's a little DNA swab, swab. yeah. I go on each side, of, inside of each of your cheeks, once on each side. Or what? Just based on the totality of all of this. I didn't ask specifically what it's what they had that it's being utilized for. I'm sure to compare it to something. I mean, it, it's up to you. We're asking if you're willing to help out with that aspect of the investigation. Um, They'll probably apply for a warrant if you say no. It doesn't mean they get it, but... What would that be in, like, what would they be checking my DNA for exactly? Like you said, I'm probably comparing blood. it. Yeah, my blood. Right, my blood right. Drunk that's that's separate lab. It's a separate thing. Now, the question is if... See, you you see how confusing, that. like, stuff keep popping. I'm not saying it's you guys, but it's confusing to me that stuff keep popping up with this. has to do in this, in this, and it's like, okay... Obviously, 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 obviously Darrell, it's going to be related to some piece of evidence. And it's either going to potentially show you're involved or, or show you're not. I don't know. We don't know until it's compared. So, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious. Obviously, it's getting compared to something. They don't just do it to do it. There's something that was found. I don't know what it is. That's not a lie. I, I don't know what it is. But something they asked found. If there's a piece of evidence that they want to see if something on it matches yours. I don't know what that specific piece is. Okay. I know it will. 
So the that's why is, kind of, I know it's not a weapon, so at least I'm right. They have the swabs here. No, it's not a weapon. Do you consent to that? No. Do you fill out a form, no, or do you no, want to? Okay. No. They got. I got to. You got to tell me why. You got to tell me why. Oh, well, we did tell you why. You, you can say no. That's yeah, fine, yeah, but we did tell you why. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Not nothing like that. Without <laughs> knowing something. I, I know you, like I said, I know y'all just got a job. I can't sit here and tell you what specific pieces of evidence necessarily are. Yeah, I, I, I understand that. I don't understand that. Understand you understand. want to say no, you can say no. no Nobody's going to force you. Nobody's going to fault you. Just don't pretend that it's because we're not telling you. We, we're telling you. No, I'm not saying it's because okay. you did tell me. I'm just saying I don't want to do it because I don't know what, what they want it for. Sure. So my thing isn't with, you know, with you guys. I'm asking is with them. So Whoever you told you to. You know, okay, I mean domestic use contact something. Yeah, prohibition. What's that? Okay. It means you can't have any contact with Erica. All right. There's an issue between why these is, two. Why this is going down or? No, it's for a domestic abuse incident that they found probable cause for between you and her, in which they determined you were the aggressor. For this right now? Yep. From back on this was Saturday, Saturday. When you say you weren't here. Are you kidding me? No. I'm not kidding you. I was not. Are you serious? She says you were. And it's not even going to be. You, you're not convicted yet. It's got to go uh, through the system. The fact I'm getting charged with something I didn't close. do. Well, I wouldn't worry about the domestic stuff. I'm, but I'm yeah. just. Why? Well, because the other stuff is ser more serious, huh? You can say that, man. You're a smart guy. Anyway, as it is, I gotta read this to you. No, this is crazy. Okay. So, so just make sure so you're saying I hit her or something Saturday. We gotta right. fill. We gotta finish this part. We're we're pretty much at a point where we're not talking. Just pay attention to the form. No, this is so you don't get yourself jammed up more. Just listen to what I read. Dude, right? are you kidding me? Just listen to what I read. Okay. Start there. Come on. Ah, dude, this is worse and worse and worse. Are you kidding me? Well, Darrell, how can I... I can't necessarily take your word for it that you didn't do anything because initially you told your mom, you told us your mom didn't have a car and then you admitted she did. So that was a lie. That's what why I got to do with the domestic. It's dishonesty. Why would you lie about something that's potentially so trivial? Oh, she doesn't have a car. Well, yeah, she does, and I use it for that. So the point is, there's credibility issue there. i got to read this to you. That's what she's saying. I don't know the court will convict you for it, but I'm just telling you what she's saying. So I'm going to read so she it. said I hit it. It was physical contact. I'm not going to get into what. I don't know the full extent of what. Yeah. Oh, man. No, I was not. Would you not say no? Your... She oh. says yes, so it's going to come down oh, to this. Oh, my God. Whose side is the evidence support? Dude, are you serious? Are you ready to listen so you don't mess this up and get yourself in more trouble? Because I'm not trying to bring that on you. Should I read it? Yes, sir. Okay. Wisconsin statutes impose certain restrictions upon those persons charged with crimes involving domestic abuse and related offenses. Wisconsin statute 939.621 states that if a person commits an act of domestic abuse as defined in section 968.075 sub 1 sub a, and the act constitutes the commission of a crime, the maximum term of imprisonment for that crime may be increased by not more than two years if the crime is committed during the 72 hours immediately following an arrest for a domestic abuse incident as set forth in section 968.075 sub 5. Basically, that's telling you any further actions against her in 72 hours can be constituted as a felony. This 72-hour period applies whether or not there has been a waiver by the victim. Under section 968.075 sub 5 sub c, the victim of the domestic abuse crime does not have to be the same as the victim of the domestic abuse incident that it resulted in the arrest. The penalty increase under this status chain, under this section changes the status of a misdemeanor to a felony. Do you understand all that? Do you want me to clarify what all that meant? So right now it is charged as a misdemeanor. Correct. That's my understanding. So if you had another incident with her in the next 72 hours or anyone else that you have a domestic relationship with, it could be a felony. It doesn't have to be her. I ain't going sure no, ain't I'm happen. not going nowhere no time soon, so we ain't got to worry about that. Me having physical contact with somebody I'm not even finna see. Sure. Okay. 
Um, next paragraph says Wisconsin Statute 968.075 states that unless there is a waiver under paragraph C during the 72 hours following an, event, following an arrest for a domestic abuse incident, the arrested person shall avoid the residency of the alleged victim of the domestic abuse incident and, if applicable, any premises temporarily occupied by the alleged victim and avoid contacting or causing any person other than law enforcement and attorneys for the arrested person and alleged victim to contact the alleged victim. An arrested person who intentionally violates this paragraph may be fined not more than $10,000 or imprisoned for nine months or both. So basically, a victim can say, in addition to it being a felony for 72 hours, a victim can say, I don't want him or her to contact me at all for 72 hours. And then if the suspect, in that case, say you violated that because she said she didn't want contact, you could be facing the uh, restrictions in that paragraph. Does that make sense? Okay. Domestic abuse means any of the following engaged in by adult against his or her spouse, former spouse, or against an adult with whom the person resides or formerly resided or against an adult with whom a person has created a child. Uh, one, intentional infliction, intentional infliction of physical pain, physical injury or illness. Intentional impairment of physical condition. Three, acts constituting sexual assault as defined in section 940.225 sub one, two, or three. Or four, a physical act that may cause the person reasonably to fear imminent engagement in the conduct as described above in one, two, three. Um, now, she did not waive this 72-hour no-contact prohibition. Your time of arrest was 5.39 p.m. Uh, yesterday, which is about the 21st. So you can't call her. You can't have anyone call her on your behalf. Absolutely nothing till after that time. Oh, would that be the 24th, Wednesday? Correct. Till the 24th. So don't have, you'll have to go over to the jail. Right about that. Don't call her from there. Don't have another inmate call her for you. Don't have no, your no, mom call her no, for you. No, no. Don't do nothing. No. Statutory requirements referring to referencing domestic abuse have been explained to me. I understand that. One, I'm to avoid the residence of the alleged victim or any premises temporarily occupied by the alleged victim. Do you understand that part? No. Say it again. That you are you have to avoid the residence oh, okay. of yeah. the alleged yeah. victim yeah. or any premises yeah. temporarily occupied by the alleged victim. Yeah. Understand that? Okay. And to avoid contacting or cause any person other than law enforcement and attorneys to contact the alleged victim. Understand that part? Need it read again? Don't have nobody. I have but to attorney avoid contacting. Yep, nobody but attorneys. Okay. I release from custody is conditional upon the signed agreement to refrain from any acts, any threats or acts of domestic abuse against the alleged victim or any other person. Any additional acts of domestic abuse within 72 hours shall be considered a felony. Do you understand that part? Yes, sir. Basically, what it's saying is you don't have to agree to this form, but if you refuse to sign it and acknowledge that you can't do these things, you can't be released. Make sense? If I violate these requirements, I may be fined not more than $10,000 <clears throat> or imprisoned not more than nine months or both, pursuant to Section 968.75, sub 5 two. So, if you violate these rules, imprisonment, nine months, $10,000 fine or both. Do you understand that? Yes. Right. What I need you to do. I can't believe she's doing this to me. Focus for a few more minutes, you Darrell. No one I have no one I was not. You need to initial these if you understood them like you said you did. Those four things I read there, and those four things I read there. And then sign date and I'll give you the time. This is crazy, man. I don't I don't believe she told y'all that, man. Who talked to her? Did you talk to her? Um one of our other detectives. And they said I was out here Saturday and got into an altercation with her. Mm hmm Correct. And y'all and nobody has to prove that. Well, there's like, come on man, like so I could just get in trouble with just physical evidence to that. corroborate it. Huh? There's physical evidence to corroborate. What physical evidence? Well, that's what I'm saying. What? We're not. What physical right evidence? Right now, we got to sign the bail. I'm not going to give you, I'm not gonna give you all okay, these so, answers, right. but we're not. All right. Man. We're just kind of spinning our wheels here. No, I ain't spinning. Y'all y'all spinning my wheels. Y'all knew what was going to happen from day one, from the, from the get. As soon as y'all said, oh, we got to investigate this, 
Y'all knew it was going to happen. Y'all knew it was going to happen. And then and y'all tried to play me instead of just being 100. Y'all could have just told me the truth, and I would have told y'all the truth. That's what I'm saying. I'm in trouble for something I ain't even freaking do. This is this mine. That's yours. Okay. Oh, that's crazy, man. <laughs> I literally domestic abuse. So I got a question. If she says what she's gonna end up doing, if she says none of this happened, then what? It's dropped. I don't know. It's gotta go through the court proceedings. You said you've been through this before. No, I'm I'm going through it right now. Yeah. That's why I'm like, how could why would she do this to me, dude? No, I was not nowhere. Ne Dude, oh my God, man. My life is over. Over, man. So, here's the other thing. I got a message here. Are you willing to give us consent to do much of anything, Darrell? We got a message for what? One of our guys, okay. they recovered your iPhone. And I got your Android too. Where you, from where? Uh, I don't know where they found the iPhone. I, I don't know where they. I think they found the. Well, they found the iPhone in the car. I don't know if they got the Android from somewhere else or what. They found the iPhone in the car. So, we so that um, one needed to take a as look. part of the whole investigation. Obviously, they're they're going to want to know what's in the contents of the phone. They're going to do like a download of it. We're going to look to do a download of it. Okay. All right. Now they have machines and techniques they can use that often damages the phone if there's no passcode or consent. Are you willing to give consent? I gave you the, the passcode. What's uh, the passcode on the Android one? Oh, shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't even use that phone. That was my mom's old phone. When's the last time you used it? If it's not, because you know, I don't want to break it, you got to know a code here. And no, if you don't saying, use it, there's nothing in it. The phone only works when it's on Wi Fi because it's not on. So you okay. have to be by Wi Fi for the phone to actually work. Yeah, it's fine. So it can figure that was it out. my mom's old phone. Okay. Yeah, that was her phone. So what's the one? It's the 7 it's shape iPhone. Yeah. But iPhones don't have swipes normally. Yeah, this one does. It has it has a swipe. It either has face recognition or draw the uh, thing. And that's it. Yeah. Usually, usually the only time it doesn't read my face is if I have my mask on. If I have my mask on, then I have to draw. But if it's usually it's face recognition, it looks at my face, it scans my face, it opens it. What model is it? Eleven. I have no idea. I've never had an iPhone. My mama got me for it. It's my, it was my first time ever having an iPhone. But I tell you what, though. Every number that I own is in that phone. So to be able to call anybody, I definitely would need y'all to put that phone in my property. If, if you guys can. If you can't, I understand. Well, I mean, that's the only way I can get... Because I still got the open cases in Milwaukee. I can't contact my lawyer without giving a number. I can't contact my justice point worker. I can't contact... First things first, do we have your permission to, to look at it or what? I gave you the code. So is that yes? You're okay with it? What, what is it actually for? That's what I was... Cause the, this, is why, this is why I'm confused. Because the first thing y'all said was the DNA swap thing. Yeah, that's part of it, and too. And then now is that, so I'm kind of confused, like... It's to look through the phone, to see what's in the phone, to see if anything pertaining to this investigation is there. 
That's why. That's why. I mean, if there's something there that you're saying changes things up, particularly on the domestic with her, there you go. But the guy that's running, the guy that works the phone is saying, you know, swipe code isn't it. He knows his phone. So is it swipe or you have to hit those buttons? Because that's apparently not it. And I'm not making would, that I up. would do know that just by saying, oh, I looked at the phone and it's this. Because he does that professionally. He knows more he about knows your phone. phone than you do. Or I do. No, he don't. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> he does, does. Based on what he does, there are no iPhones with a swipe. So is there consent here or no? No. No? Okay. That's all I need to know. How come that... Wait, wait, wait a second. So where was my phone last night? We did not have it last night. Is it is it the black iPhone with the cracked screen? I haven't seen it. Yeah. So That's how the way do I you describe it? So huh? That's the way you described it. Yeah. So how do I even know if it's my phone? I believe it was taken from the car. Is what Jeff Carpenter said. Is it black with a crack in the screen? I don't know. I can't even cry right now. No? You don't know how bad I want to. Yeah. But it, it's just, I mean, so, I'm I'm just so hurt, dude, that I can't even get the tears out. And I want to so bad, man. I can't believe she would say I was somewhere Saturday. She know. Man, she know I didn't do anything to her, man. How all of a sudden I was out here Saturday all of a sudden. But I never, she never brought up with me meeting up with her then. Wouldn't I be asking about the money and all that stuff then? That would be my only reason for meeting up with you. So I meet up with you Saturday. I, I domestically abuse you then, turn around and meet you again Sunday. Yeah, that's all, that's all assuming your version of events. Like, is are you kidding me? That's all. That's all. Assuming your version then, of events is actually true. If I actually, which we don't, if I actually put my hands on her, she would have talked. She would have called you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, that's what you say, Darrell. But right now, we don't have any evidence proving what you say is true anyway. You know, I don't really know what happened between you two because there are things you haven't been honest about. Okay, so yeah, just because I wasn't right. honest about my mom's truck and all that, that makes me dishonest about me beating up my baby mama. Brings it definitely raises questions. There's other things you know. Too. Yeah, I understand you're frustrated. Did, did you even see her? I personally did not. No, this is multiple uh, detectives and officers working on this. And she said that I beat her up. this to me. Why is she doing this to me? Thank y'all just take me where y'all gonna take me, please. We'll get to that point. No, my life is over, dude. One way or the other, this shit gonna end. If I gotta do it myself, I'm not going to prison forever. I'm not sitting in no prison cell. I've been there in the back. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to admit to nothing I didn't do. Why is she doing this to me? She know I didn't put my hands on her, man. She, 
I was nowhere around her Saturday. I was nowhere in. It's crazy that people can just charge you with something without even having, like, yo, we can't even check her story. Her story isn't even being checked out. It is. I told her she's getting interviewed a second time. Like, what the hell? So she said this last night that I beat her up Saturday. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Listen, man, I wasn't honest about certain things, but I did not put my hands on this woman. I did not touch this woman. I did not push this woman. I did not punch this woman. I did not choke this woman. I did not grab this woman. I did not kick this woman. I did not push this woman down. I did not do anything to this girl. I, oh my God, dude. Reckless endangerment. Reckless endangerment. Domestic abuse. Domestic. Oh my God, I'm never getting out of fucking prison. tells you guys that this didn't happen, how can I even trust that the charges will be dropped? How can, how can I trust that I won't have to still sit in jail and go through a process even when she uh, takes her story away, man? When she's not mad or angry anymore, that's just what she does this all the time. Y'all can't look this up and see this. Y'all can't do. Y'all can do all this other investigating, but y'all can't find the basic facts of this. I tell you, enough basic facts have been found to justify that charge. They justify that I put my hands on her. Them two charges and a possible OWI that's not going to be there when y'all check the blood. Reckless endangerment and then domestic abuse, right? That's my understanding. So, what happens to the problem stuff that she goes out the window? Yeah, because when we started asking questions, like I said, we follow up on stuff. Last night we didn't know. Well, at least somebody at least, goes out. At least people know I wasn't trying to. Yeah, you weren't trying, we were trying to break into people's houses. So, that's gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's not part of it. Yeah, I'm just saying. I just wanted that at least. God damn. Like, at least. That don't make me look like a total fucking creep. No, you know saying, what I'm saying? I believe, there's no, Fuck. I believe there's no grounds for the disorderly conduct that we talked about either. Yeah. Like, that, I, would have to, I would have to fucking fight with the police and all that. And obviously, I can't do that if they got guns drawn on me, right? I'd just be fucking shot. Yeah, nobody's accusing you of fighting with the cops or something. That's why I was trying to figure out where the hell was the disorderly conduct for. Like I said, last night was a busy night, and we had to wait for a flow of information because we don't want to just throw shit at you that you didn't do. Right, right. So just so I'm clear, just with peace of mind, mm -hmm. reckless endangerment and domestic abuse. That's my understanding of it right now, and then the OWI will get forward as well. Is it? First degree reckless endangerment, second degree reckless endangerment. <sighs> that I do not know. Again, I'm, my job here is talk to you, interview you. That's been my job since yesterday. Since somebody picked you up and said, hey, this guy might be involved. My job is to hang out with you. So I don't know. And I know that's frustrating for you. I feel that. Uh, and if I was in your position, I'd be frustrated too. I wish I could tell you definitively what charges. The investigation is still ongoing. 
the appropriate charges will get forwarded if there's enough evidence for them. That is still getting worked out. So I, I wish I could tell you, but no, I, I know you can't. I was based on your, based on you know what we described and what we talked about. Yes, that's what we're looking at right now. So and there's other people working on this that gather this and make those decisions. Like I said, I mean, I'm here, but yeah, I'm not new with this, but I'm not running the show either yet. You know what I mean? So I kind of, kind of go where I'm told. Do what I can do. As soon as there is a comprehensive list or whatever that they're going to board, you'll know. Nobody's trying to keep you in the dark. I understand it's frustrating. So I got to go to Waukesha County Jail, right? Yeah. When will I be going there? Again, that's waiting on my partner because he's going out making those phone calls to the bosses, talking about that stuff. I don't know. You seem to make it sound like you want to go sooner rather than later. I mean, because I at least want to be able to talk to my girls. I haven't had a phone call in the whole 20, more than 24 hours. No. And I don't know what their rules are here at Mosquito about phone calls. I know for a fact at county, they give you phone calls, right? So right, but it's just, uh, that's that's what's more, that's driving me crazy too, is that I, I haven't had a chance to talk call home. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk to my girls, man. And, and that's why I was like, I don't see why they couldn't just do it here. Like, if you knew I was going to be here for a whole day, they could at least been like, yo. Or even if they was like, yo, you got a number? Like, I'll call for you and relay it. That's something. Right. Well, just I mean, something. We did last night when we talked to your mother. Yeah, but that's like, I don't know her. I don't know if that's the truth. I don't know. Uh, all right. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? And who, and who talked to my mother? That's the whole thing. Who? I actually don't know who. But you see what I mean? So I don't even know if that's true. They probably could have just called and said, hey, man, I have no reason we want to know if this is this. Right. That doesn't mean, oh, yeah, we doing this, we're investigating this. Like, my mama's older. She don't know nothing. But, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, she was more like, let me talk to my son and find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then I can, you know what I mean? I haven't had a chance to call her. I haven't had a chance to call my girls. Yeah, and while we're, like I said, because we're in Mosquito, I can't make those calls because we're in Mosquito and I'm watch show. Yeah, I so, just want to go, man, because I, I know. I'm telling you right now, man. Y'all try to charge me with first degree reckless endangerment. I'm not never getting out of prison. I'm going to make sure of it. I don't want to hear that, but... I'm, I'm going to make sure of it. We don't want that to happen. My life is over, man. I'm, I'm starting to come to grips with the fact that no matter what I do for this girl, no matter how much I show her, no matter how much I try to, you know, I got your back, I just don't want you drinking. Like, you see, you came up here, my family embraced you. We all embraced you because we wanted everything to work out like, you know, like I told you man I love this girl man it's just like no fucking joke and she knows I wouldn't do anything to harm her so why would you why would you do that to me you would rather see me sit in jail sit in prison so you know okay he ain't got no other option but depend but to depend on talking to me and me only is that what she does when you get locked up? Yeah. yeah. Even even then, she'll be like, if I find out you're talking to any other females, I'm I'm gonna not mess with you. And it's like, why? Do, the last thing we need to be worried about now is some other chicks, mm -hmm. especially when it's supposed to be you and I. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, dude. She's gonna take, she's gonna, and she does this every time, man. And it's like, by now, nobody sees this. She's gonna get up there and she's, she's gonna be like, no, no, I was just drinking. I was just angry at him and I didn't want him. But every time that happens, nobody never has the decency to go by the law and be like, okay, man, drop these charges right away. Which is what I think should happen. 
once a person shows you, oh, okay. No, don't make me keep going through the process. Don't, because that's that's unfair to y'all, too. Y'all, y'all got to keep bringing somebody to court and keep having them in the community, checking in, doing all this, doing all that, and going back and forth to court for a case that's, okay, I got to drop this charge. And it's this. I know y'all probably mad at me, dude, but this again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, this, I'm not this type of person, man. I'm not mad at y'all. I'm not. I don't know. I, I just, like you said, you recognize that we're just doing our job here. Not judging us. It's not my place to judge you. It's just my job to report what happened. So. People, uh, did a lot of people get hurt? I don't know what the number is. Well, he said it was more than one person. Though. I believe so, yeah. And nobody was killed, were they? Not aware. Like I said, I don't have all the information on this very large scale. Well, I think by now if somebody died, they would... I would assume that we would know since we hang out with them. Y'all would, would know that. Probably, yeah, probably would. Yeah. So. I'm not a murderer. I'm not. I'm not a killer. I'm not a beat, a beat up people. I'm not a robber. Not none of those things. None of them. Life is over, man. Oh, man. Who would even think before I even turn 40, man, that
So where did the gray sweatshirt come from? I don't know what to do with it. They said they found they found the car. Was it, it wasn't in the car? I'm not sure. I don't know what all they found in the car. They were mostly concerned with the phone. You dump it when you're running away. The phone. The car. Check check this out though. The phone would be what significance would 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 my phone play? To mm -hmm. say to to show if I actually um, was meeting up with my baby mama. Yeah, sure. It can show any text messages, messages, call logs, locations. Right. Right. Yeah. True. So it it probably would be good for them to do that. Because they'll see that I wasn't in Waukesha on Saturday. Okay. So once that's now I got a question on that. Once that's proven, because I was not in Waukesha on Saturday. Mm -hmm. If that's if that's able to be proven, could that help the charge? Likely, but that's all evidence of me. Gotta be seen, you know what I mean? So, shit, I'm freezing, man. My shoulder's starting to hurt again. Something's wrong with this shoulder. I know for a fact something is wrong with this shoulder. It probably wasn't broken, like they said. It probably wasn't a, a bone thing, but it's like a tendon or a muscle or something in there. Is is something is messed up in his shoulder? I know it is. Mm -hmm. I believe it. And they still don't know who that was. They slammed me. Yeah, they Just, do. I don't. I don't know what to like tell you, but they did. The person left a report and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I can when find yeah. out what the hell. Yeah, who you'll that find was. out they did that. Yeah, you'll find out when, when all the reports are gone and everything's on record or whatever. If you don't report, um, that information will be there. Reason, man. Yeah. Yo, this this is my copy you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, tell tell Jay, man, I wasn't trying to be no hard ass dude. I was just there's so many emotions going through my head and my heart right now, man. I don't it's blame just, you. Know? It's one part is just like, dude, my life is over. I will never be able to see my. I'm finna miss this holiday season with my children. It would have been the first holiday season I've had in Milwaukee with the kids since 2014. My sister died in 2014. That kind of made the family kind of like, you you know what I'm trying to say. It kind of was just like, because you know, we still don't have closure to this day. We didn't. We still don't know to this day if you know the 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 the, the real circumstances in why she passed. We don't. We don't really have closure. So that's something my mom has to live with every day. You know, that's something I wouldn't wish on anybody having to bury their child. No, that's uh, that's rough. It's a pain. It's a hard loss. She said she was 31. Yeah, it's a pain you would never get over. You need a break on the switch. Uh, yeah, when John or yeah, just working on a little warrant, and then um, so they're writing a warrant for those swabs I told you about. All right. DNA stuff, remember that? Yeah, you did tell me that. Okay, we'll probably try to get that done here, and then we'll leave. Go right. to the walk show. Yeah, hopefully that's done pretty quick. So Now, um, can they at least just say what they're for? I can... I'll probably... You're going to know. I'll find out at some point. I don't know when. Look, man, as this goes through court, they have to tell you. You have, you have to be presented with everything you're accused of. I honestly, right now, don't know what it is. I, I, I don't want to take guesses. So yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, we'll wait and see. You know, at some point, if they do it, which they're going to do, or if the warrant is signed, they'll have to, you know, they're going to have to state what it was compared to. So there's no getting around. So there's no. So what's what's done with my statement? What's that? My statement. What about it? I mean, I'm not here to ask you anything further. If no, no, no. Tell no. me something. Tell me something. Yeah, no, I'm just saying is that 
Are y'all keeping that statement or was? Well, yeah, for what it's worth, I mean, yeah, you saw us write down, we took notes, we talked with you. I mean, yeah, we're not going to, so I don't know totally where you're going with it. I'm not going to change it into something different. I can't. I won't. You know, everything you said will be there. Nothing will be inserted by me that you didn't say. I won't say he said he did this when you didn't say you did it. You know, you have your side, kind of what we talked about with Erica, for example, right, Erica? Yeah. She has her side. Now it meets in the middle, okay? Now it comes down to what whoever's dealing with that side, and I don't know who they all are. Um, I know who a couple of them are, but you don't I'll, know who they are. So I want to know. Not, I want to know who slammed me on my shoulder. That'll be in there. They'll have to leave reports. They're not from our agency. I don't know who they are. I don't know their okay, names. So I've got to talk to somebody about that. Because my shoulder's still hurt. Oh. Alright, how are you? Um, pretty much all done. Just um, waiting now um, to do the eventual transport. Like legally, you should be able to refuse that. You can, you did. That's why they're getting a warrant. That. And then once the warrant comes, I can't refuse it. Correct. Yeah, see, that's the she be against the law. Why? I mean, for, for, for them to force, to forcefully get something from you. That's what warrants are for? Yeah. That's how I, I, anybody can say no to everything they want, they want you to right. do. Right. Right. So it's, you know, no to blood draws, no to uh, looking at someone's phone, no to in DNA slot, you know what? That's what the courts are for, and that's why regardless of the outcome of, you know, getting the warrant approved and whatever you're going through right now, uh, that's what courts for, they decide all that stuff.
is over, man. It's crazy, man. That's all I keep thinking about is like. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, with this situation, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, what I what I did per se. It was about the decision to be around somebody that I knew I shouldn't have been around at that moment. So it's on me because I made the decision to meet up, to link up with somebody that I knew I should have never did linked up with. Yeah. You know, sure. That was a poor, was still, it was a poor choice for me to link up with somebody. So 100% of you what happens after that. Yeah. You're True. an adult. True. Right? True. You're, no matter what, you're going you know, to control the, you. The crazy thing about it, and you're absolutely right. The crazy thing about that is, um, for my situation, somebody will tell you, this is what I'm going to do if you're not doing this, and can't get you locked up without having proof. Now, everything else I have to deal with, I understand, but as far as this domestic thing, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to get sent to jail just because your girlfriend or your wife or somebody says you did something. Where's the evidence? Where's the physical thing? Where's You're right. You, you really don't ever go to jail based on just somebody saying something. There's in Milwaukee, they do that. Well, here there's got to be evidence. Right. And so there's say, evidence. Well, that's what they they saying is evidence based on the day that I wasn't even in Waukesha. How can I commit a domestic abuse if I'm not even in the city? And that can be proven that I'm not in the city. And furthermore, it's going to be proven that I never did anything because all she does when she's angry and drunk is make calls. She's going to double. Oh, she's done it before. Call back and say, I was just drunk. I was just mad. None of this never happened. Yeah, you get that, what I'm saying? That, yeah. In my, our line of work, that happens quite often, unfortunately. It's going to happen because she know I didn't do anything. Right, but again, I don't know details. I'm probably saying too much, but there's a reason why you hear from from that alone, right? Right. Right. That's what courts for. Right. To decide that stuff. People recant statements. People say things out of emotion, and then they take it back, or this, that, and the other thing. We can only deal with what we have in front of us at the time. Can't predict the future. If she does, then you know whatever that. Regarding the, what happened Saturday, domestic, don't know anything about it, whatever, so whatever their outcome, that can change, or what the outcome is now can change in the future, right? But right now it's what we got. You're really fixated on the domestic, though. I mean, because that, that's the thing that caused everything. It's like, first, yeah. first of all, you said, I did something to you that you know I didn't do. Then you said it happened on a day where you know I wasn't anywhere around you. So I didn't call anything then. Well, I met up with her her yesterday. I met up with her yesterday. And we got into a shouting match. And because of us getting into that shouting match, it caused a ripple effect for everything else. Right. But then the thing with her is, She's saying, oh, well, he didn't do, we, we just argued yesterday. Well, I'm talking about Sunday. Oh, we just argued. It wasn't anything. Oh, but Saturday, it was like, what, but what Saturday? I wasn't even around you. So 
which one is it? One day you saying, last night you said nothing happened, we were just arguing this and that. Now today you saying, oh, well, yeah, nothing happened yesterday. Oh, but this day, what? Regardless of all that, because I know nothing of that, it doesn't change what happened after that. Oh, so you know what happened after that? No, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, like, hardly anything. <laughs> like, I'm here now today listening to them talk to you. Right. Right outside in the hallway, right? Right. 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 But, like I said, there's consequences to actions. For sure. And whether you feel that those actions were, you know, you try to reason with them or justify them to yourself, they happen. And there's an outcome. An outcome that you can't go back and change. But you can't say in one breath that you control, you know of your actions and consequences and ownership, but then blame it on her. No, no, no. That but you are, though. You keep saying, no, I'm saying, if it wasn't for her, no, no, I would have no, no, done no, things no. ripple back. I'm saying. No, because you, you misinterpreted what I was trying to say. But that could be me saying it wrong, so I'm not saying it's you. What I'm saying is. You got that radio for now? Okay. Yep. Darrell, can you uh, stand up for me? 
You do have to put handcuffs on you. Oh, that's all good. It's all good, man. I know. I know what's going on, man. Ah, this is the shoulder. <laughs> I know you didn't know, so. Yeah, no. Yeah. Or just touch your hand and do it. No, the, the, the pressure. Because the, yeah. even yeah. moving that arm a certain way, that shoulder is so back. Just at least leave me enough room to turn my wrist. Ah! You actually don't, you don't want your palms to do want your back. No, I want, it, it hurts my shoulder with my wrist being like this. I'm just trying to take some of the pressure off my shoulder, that's all. Ah! Not you. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not right, you. Right, I'm not trying to hurt you, but. 